Hello. Hello. Banger. Banger. Anyway, hi. Hi, hello. <laughs> What's up? We are starting a new kingdom. Let's fucking go. Is that Shiv? It is me. Definitely on time. Not... Mm, not four minutes late. Or anything. No, no, no. I'm on time. Always on time. Um, <clears throat> But yeah. We're gonna start a new kingdom, guys. Oh, well, how dare you? <laughs> I'm gonna call you queen after being four minutes late. I did. Call me monarch instead. No, just kidding. <laughs> I mean, could. Then the title wouldn't work. Now I'll just leave. <laughs> anyway. Look. I, 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 I've got a different outfit on. With my character. Wow. A mobile internet hours. Oh no. <laughs> Let me know how bad your delay is. Two minutes. Two minute delay. <laughs> but hi. So, um, yeah, how about the how about the dynasty name, huh? I was I was trying to get some uh dynasty names with ChatGPT and <laughs> you know what it just suggested to me? <laughs> Yo <laughs> we going to Shivney Land? <laughs> Suggested like a bunch of other ones, but I thought uh, this one was the funniest. <laughs> it suggested stuff like I don't know, Shiverific Empire, Shivolt. I don't know, but Shivney Lane got me. That one got me. <laughs> anyway, it is I, Queen Shiver of Shivney Land. Um, <laughs> and we're gonna start with a few new regions, guys. Mom, can we go to Shivney Land? <laughs> we have Shivney Land at home. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <clears throat> Queen Shiver of the Shivney Land Dynasty. That sounds pretty funny. <laughs> anyway, yeah, uh, we we'll do uh, on Twitch, not a party game. All right, so last time we did, um, which ones did we do? We did the. Let me sit straight up. My god. Um, we did Barons of the March and Patricians of the Coast, right? Left, middle, right. Now we do middle, middle, middle-ish. Kind of. <laughs> Look, Tad. Well, we're keeping the Counts of the East because they're pretty cool. You know? <laughs> they're, just, they're just neat. I just like them. <laughs> um, okay, but now, eh? I want my crabs. Get out of here with your crabs. No. <laughs> but yeah, okay, we got chiefs in the north. The chiefs are honorable warriors renowned for their pagan religion and prowess in combat. So these guys are, I think, pretty religious, but they have a different religion than the, you know, the kingdom does. Like, we've got the, the ninth god, and they have someone else, I think. Then we got the counts of the east again. The Counts are ruthless aristocrats, steeped in secrecy. Allegations of, a forbid of forbidden rituals are unproven. Yeah, of course, those are... No, secret... Secret uh, rituals? No. <laughs> and then we have Grandees of the South. The Grandees are impassioned dualists, known for their strict adherence to honor, etiquette, and the Ninth God. Oh, I didn't know that, actually. <laughs> These guys are religious, too. <laughs> The furry rituals? No, not those! <laughs> but anyway, we're gonna do these ones now. Um, I'm done with the barons and the patricians. Not gonna lie. They're kinda annoying. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, um... So, you can join... Uh, and if you own the game, you can even select the region you wanna be in. Yeah, like that! Like Sai did. At least, I think it's supposed to be in that order. Like, do you do the region first and then your... Then your pronouns? Or like the other way around? I don't know. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, I don't know. 
If, well, if, but you can only choose the region you want to be in if you have the game. If you don't have the game, then you're shit out of luck. You're gonna get put in a random region. Just gonna get thrown somewhere. <laughs> no, I'm in the counts. <laughs> What's wrong with the counts? They're pretty cool. It's joint pronoun region. Oh, is it? It doesn't really say anywhere. Does it? Or does it say in the overlay? Maybe. I don't know. I can't see the overlay. I can't see it. <laughs> yeah, no, no crabs over here. No more. I think the crabs were like a patrician thing. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Oh, it says in the official Discord. Okay, I was wondering. So wait, what was it now? Uh, <laughs> pronoun and region. Okay, okay. I mean, but you're the only one that owns the game. <laughs> nice, fancy. I'm pretty sure you showed that to me on Discord. It looks pretty cool. Allowed accounts to have all the money. Depends if you're nice to me or not. It depends. <laughs> all right. Let's take a look at you guys. This is Arrestrius. This is John. You guys got the animal pelts and everything, and it's Psy. Here, the vampires. Can I? There you go. Night Soul. Newt. Hey, you both have like. Same hair color. Similar styles. Both rocking a beard. Let's see. Eric Hole. Robin. Cosmic. Look at you guys. Watch Piri join late and be in the council. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. <laughs> Yo, Ezra, what's up? I'm a lurk as I clean today. Yo. Good luck with cleaning. I would say enjoy cleaning, but I don't like cleaning. So I don't know if you like cleaning, but good luck with cleaning. Good luck with cleaning. <laughs> the South can look kind of French-like. Yeah, they're kind of... The grannies of the South feel kind of sassy, you know? Like, <laughs> you'll have a conversation with them and they'll just roast the shit out of you. <laughs> For no reason. <laughs> and the chiefs of the North will just fight you. Like, they'll, yeah, they'll, they'll just fight you. Physically. <laughs> Queen Shiver, why allow the other kingdoms to exist? I say we annihilate them. Oh, wait, 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 which one are you in? You're in the Council of the East? Well... But I'm pretty sure all the regions are gonna be against me. I say anni annihilate all the regions, so only I am left and I create a new region for myself. New region for Shivney Land. <laughs> no, but I don't think any of the regions have the option to help me this time. I think you all are gonna be against me and you just have to decide on what kind of... Uh, you know, what you want to do to me. <laughs> But I'm excited, because now we get to look at some new, uh... You know, things that can happen in-game, probably. Hopefully. <laughs> I noticed in the last few streams, you got some repeat events. I don't know if that's because we kept... You know, we had the same regions the entire time, but... No, not the bees again. Bees! <laughs> anyway, should we start? There's like three in every region now. You like jazz? No! Dun. <coughs> <laughs> Look at that! Alright, alright. Thank you for the sippy. I just took a sippy. Ugh. That's too many sippies. <laughs> anyway, let me take a look at you guys. Alright, the chiefs are the best in military right now. The counts are the best at farming, and the grandees are the best at faith. The chiefs suck at faith. Oh, because they have a different religion, I'm pretty sure. The counts are... Eh. Just kind of average. And grandees, too. <laughs> Zero faith. <laughs> That's pretty... <laughs> Alright, um... Who needs faith when you have meat? True! True! What should we do first? Mm. Let's just do coronation. It's classic. It's classic. Schedule your coronation take place in a week's time. Alright. 
No, I'm giving the orders. I'm the queen. Of course, your majesty, but uh, they're gonna get restless. Oh, fine. Okay. Oh, no, no, no they wouldn't dare. <laughs> they can't get mad at me. I'm the queen. The nobles are always plotting something. As is tradition, the council will decide what happens at your coronation. Alright, let's get it over with, guys. Throw me in the river. Fine, do what you want. <laughs> Or you do something else, you know, go crazy. Pick a normal option. How about a lavish parade with jugglers and fountains of wine, guys? We haven't done that yet. No, wait, actually, that's gonna get rid of a lot of my money. Let's not do that. <laughs> <That's> not... <laughs> no, not the river. Please, we, have to, we do that every time. We do that every time, guys. <laughs> How about D? Have we done D? I don't know if we've done that one yet. No! <laughs> oh, wait. Is, oh, oh, does anybody want to be a tiebreaker? Hey! 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 A lavish parade with jugglers and fathers of wine. Let's go. Let's fucking go. <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe we actually got it. That's crazy. Okay. <laughs> oh, you're my treasury. No! <laughs> The coronation is a great success. Jugglers, wine, fireworks, and feasts. It has an impact on your treasury, of course, but what does it? You know, it's just a little bit of money, guys. Almost nothing. Uh, <laughs> I'm poor. Alright, let's do the council introduction. Now that you're the queen, your first duty is to meet with the council of nobles. Your nobles hail from all across the kingdom. The wintry north, the desolate east, and of course, the scorching south. Alright, Chiefs of the North. Oh, sorry! <laughs> Good luck in the days ahead, Your Highness. You'll need it, dealing with us, lot. What? <laughs> Counts of the East. It's Nightel. An honor to finally make your acquaintance, Your Grace. May you escape the doom that befell your predecessor. What? But I'm the first one! Alright, Grandies of the South. Oh, it's Robin! May the Ninth God bless your reign, Your Holiness. I trust you will conduct yourself with honor and faith. Sure, sure. And with that, our introductions are done. Council Hall immediately fills with raised voices as the nobles argue with each other and demand your favor. You sigh and sit back. Ah, <sighs> is this what the council is like? No wonder your father told you to avoid the throne at all costs. But I'm um, here. I am now. I guess I'll try and be a decent queen. You know, I'll try. <laughs> I have high hopes for you. Oh, don't, don't, don't keep them too high. <laughs> Your Majesty, when you die, how do you hope the kingdom will remember you? Which one haven't we done yet, guys? Uh, we've we've already done conqueror, a saint. Do you think that fits me? <laughs> we have a conqueror, the greatest queen who ever lived, the architect of a new golden age. I'm pretty sure we did that last time. Uh, a peacekeeper, the mother of a nation, or as a saint. We could also be the mother of the nation. We need farming for that. Which ones have we done? We've definitely done military. Maybe authority. And maybe trade, right? What, what, what do we do again? <laughs> wow. <laughs> saint and peacekeeper. Are those the two we haven't done? Did we do the farming one? I feel like... Like, I, I don't remember anymore. I'm kind of covering it. Sorry, guys. <laughs> last... No, last time we did the trade one, didn't we? Didn't we do the architect of a golden age? Yeah. Well, I'll do the saint one, sure. But I also like the idea of the mother of the nation. Oh, man. Guys, I don't remember. Can somebody check the VODs? <laughs> That's gonna take too long. I, I. Why does our memory suck, Chad? How many times have we played? We've played three times. No. Four times. We've played four times. But I'm pretty sure we did military twice. We did all the left ones for sure. Right, right. Okay, let me just look at the stats. Um, farming is all right. Faith is gonna be difficult. <laughs> Um, <laughs> oh 
nice on time, stream elements. Nice on time. <laughs> What's up, Blue Dragon? Hello. Okay, well, we can do Saint. We can do Saint. Saint. We, uh, we, we're gonna convince the chiefs to, like, practice the ninth god, you know? <laughs> What's with stream elements lately? I don't know. Stream elements slacking off for no reason? Like, what? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna check the VODs, guys. I'm gonna check the VODs. I wanna know what we did. I wanna know what we did. <laughs> VODs. Let's see. Let's see. I'll find it quickly, alright? I'll find it real quick. Okay, we got one there and one there. Let's see. What do we pick here? Okay, that's a noble introduction. That's a that's a coronation. Uh, okay, what did I pick here? Okay, I picked the first time I picked the greatest queen who ever lived. So I picked authority that time, and then we died like an hour into the game. <laughs> Um, and then, uh, what do we pick as the second guy? As a, I think it was a king, right? <clears throat> hey guys! Welcome in. I'm just checking my previous vault to see which goals we did last time, because I don't want to do the same one. What did I pick for this guy? Conqueror. Okay, so I picked authority and military. Um, and then what did I pick? The third time. <laughs> Just close your eyes and pick one. I can't do that. I can't. I, I want to do the stuff I haven't done yet. I want to do the stuff I haven't done yet. Be a holy queen. Okay, I'm seeing a lot about holiness. I mean, we could do holy. Right, sure, why not? I'm definitely not picking it now because my video wasn't loading. Like, it, it was... <laughs> Alright, okay. That's the same. Anyway. Holy moly. Holy moly. The church will love you, I suspect, but will anyone else? Of course, right? The, the grandees will definitely love me. The chiefs? I'm not so sure. Sorry, chiefs. I suggest over the next few years you focus on improving the kingdom's overall faith as much as possible. Holy moly. <laughs> Once you have an heir, I will return to discuss how your ambitious progressing. Good luck, your majesty. Alright. Chiefs, can you get faded up a little bit? I beg. Alright. What were the other people that just joined? Oh my god, there's so many grandees. What the heck? Nice. Look at you two. Why are there so many grandees? <laughs> well, that's fine. You, you guys are all about faith. That's that's good for me. That's good for me, you know? Other of the Arrestrious clan. Ooh! Notorious Northern or Orator? Or rather? Stands precariously on a longhouse crossbeam, spitting as they. Sp oh, you're spitting? Ew, yucky. She's of the Nord. We all know I should be on the throne, not this imposter queen. Shiver. How do we make that happen? How are you guys gonna make that happen? Hmm? Doppelganger, prophecy, or horn blower? Y'all gonna blow some horns? Bro? Lower all faith. Wait, no, wait. Th that's what I need? <laughs> no! What? What? You guys suck. You, <laughs> you guys. <laughs> no! Why are you against me? <laughs> Horn blower, lower all faith. The chiefs plan to dig up Odd Health's le legendary horn and use it to take over the kingdom. What the heck? Oh, first, they must win the favor of the gods by diminishing the kingdom's belief in the ninth. To advance their scheme, the chiefs must lower the combined of total of all regions' faith to 12 or less. Wait, it's all... That's all... That's all many, you already have that! It's not fair. Louisa of the Shao's dynasty, sinister eastern bird breather, leans delicately on a podium, sighing. My fellow counts, in ancient times, the east was its own proud kingdom. We can bring back those days of glory, but not while the false queen Shiver wears the crown. Gah. And which one of these haven't you all done yet? Maybe the blood ritual? No, wait. I think you already did that. I don't remember. 
Go ahead, go crazy. <laughs> Hold up, I'm making hot chocolate. What the heck is happening? The, the regions are choosing how to overthrow me from the throne. Or kill me. You know, they're crazy. They're crazy. Why would anybody want to throne? Like, you'll get killed immediately. <laughs> it's not worth it, guys. It's not worth it. Oh, it's a tie? Okay, wait. Anybody want to be a tiebreaker? We help Shiv. I don't think you guys can help me. I'm not gonna lie. That's, like, y'all gonna be against me. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I'll be the tiebreaker. Never mind. I, I don't get to pick. <laughs> Dang, too bad. I thought I could. Alright, uprising. You guys gotta raise the treasury. The Count's plan to incite a peasant uprising to overthrow the queen before swooping in to steal the throne for themselves. Ooh. To advance their scheme, the Counts must raise the treasury to 2,000 or more in two seasons. Oh my god. <laughs> like, Log, what's up? How you doing? Hello. <laughs> Ceremia of the Howitzer lineage. Charismatic former priest, tends bathed in sunshine, droning on as in a daze. A false pretender occupies the throne while my claim is ignored. Grandees of the South, this is a stain on our honor. We must not allow it, allow it to go unanswered. Oh. What are you guys gonna do? What, you can also do sorcery? Huh? <laughs> what? Subterfuge or excommunication? Alert. How about none of these guys? How about a truce? A little truce, you know? I raise faith. You guys are happy. You know, no, 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 not excommunicate. No, no. <laughs> please don't excommunicate me, please. I just became queen. <laughs> I'm, just <laughs> I'm a baby queen. No. Oh my god. No. <laughs> the grandees plan to persuade the archbishop to excommunicate the queen. First, they must loyal. They, they must lower royal credibility. What? <laughs> To advance their scheme, the grandees must lower stability to four or less in two seasons. Well, y'all don't have that yet, so... Hey! Bleh. <laughs> oh no. I feel threatened. Alright, what, what do I have? Monarch, vote, market preferred voting option... Oh yeah, this one. Money, no. I want stability. All right. Oh, wait. Are we going to do the wizard thing already? The witch thing? A call for apprentices. Dreadful tidings, your majesty. A meddling wizard has set up shop in Serona. I believe it is Gordius, the stone talker. I'm not grandee. Faction check, please. Oh, yeah, we... Wait, you're not grandee? You're a count. Oh, you still look sick. The heck? Counts are cool. Don't worry about it. Alright, take a look, you guys. That's what you're in. Uh, the Stone Talker. Tell me more about this wizard. Wizards have managed to tame creation itself. They wield untold power and are naturally distrusted by the church. Even the High Inquisitor wouldn't dare move against them openly. Maybe I'm gonna be the first one to do that. Gordius has dominion over rock and metal and stone and the deep places of Salist Ath. He's put out a call for new apprentices, which is a rare event. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for many. Alright, which one of you guys are gonna volunteer? <laughs> Droves of unwashed, glory-seeking peasants from all over the south are lining up for that chance. <laughs> it's Newt! <laughs> Not just peasants, I, Newt, have also decided to apply. <laughs> the competition will be fierce, but those peasants are no match. I will be the most powerful noble this council has ever seen. You? You couldn't put your clothes on if it wasn't for your servants' help. See, guys, that's what I'm talking about. The grandees love to roast people. <laughs> we can't let this go ahead. Not only is it heresy, it presents a clear and dangerous conflict of interest. How? Wizards answer only to themselves. Their power is unmatched, such that entire kingdoms cannot stand against them. Even an apprentice on the council would be disastrous. Count Newt could use magic to interfere with votes. Or you, for that matter. Eh, surely Newt wouldn't do that. 
Right. <laughs> Night bless you, your highness. How did you know that? <laughs> All right. What are we going to do with poor Newt? Allow Newt to become Gordius's apprentice? Or require you forfeit his noble title to become an apprentice? Or forbid Newt from traveling to Zerona? Not going to lie, I'm kind of curious to see what happens if we just allow Newt to become an apprentice. It's pretty funny. I think it's pretty funny, guys. How about we do... That, how, about, how, about, how about we do that one? Just let Newt, let Newt become a wizard. Go crazy. Go crazy. I would pick that one. I don't care about the consequences. I'm sure it will be fine. <laughs> See, Newt is saying that they're gonna help me, so it's all good. It's all good. Why are you guys fighting me? What the? Poor Newt. <laughs> needs to forfeit your noble title. Isn't that just gonna get rid of his character? <laughs> you guys don't want Newt to have all that power when in the council. <laughs> Alright, I'm sorry, Newt. You have to forfeit your noble title. I suppose that is an acceptable compromise. Newt begins his journey to Serona immediately. His successor, Count Newt II, inherits his position on the council, but the treasury confiscates the vast majority of his wealth as payment. Count Newt has died. Goodbye. <laughs> Gordius's presence in Serona attracts all sorts of visitors. Though the power of his latent nap magic starts to wilt crops from miles around. Rest in peace, Newt. You lasted the whole one season. That's, <laughs> surely that's a bug. <laughs> this happened last time too. It just <laughs> just gets rid of your character. Low on lumber. I took all my money. <laughs> oh, it's Sai. Your greatness. Will you tell these superstitious counts to get over themselves and let us harvest their trees? We need the wood for our craftspeople. Oh, but this one again. We've had this one like three times already, guys. <laughs> I've told you a thousand times, Chief. That forest is haunted. Do not go logging there. But you sold us a logging contract. You can't. You can't say no to the contract. The counts can be allowed to wiggle out of their commitments. Okay, guys. Go crazy. Um. Should we let them get their wood? They may go logging. Let them. But share. Turn it into a hunting reserve. Or fancy area off. <laughs> ah. <clears throat> yeah, vote C, guys. Oh, wait, I can't. Mm, that's how it works. Okay. Anyway, guys. Anyway. Uh, go, go crazy, guys. Go crazy. <laughs> oh, everybody wants A. What the heck? Well, wait, of course, all the chiefs are gonna vote for A. <laughs> the chiefs want that. They want their wood. Gamba time. Oh, it's like, oh, it's Gamba. Oh, guys. Oh, why would you do that? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, wait, it worked. <laughs> With the council's express permission, hundreds of northern lumberjacks rush into the haunted forest and gleefully cut it down. Everything is fine. A legion of carts, wagons, and boats transport the lumber back to the north to be used in carpentry, construction, and carpet making. What were the council afraid of anyway? Mm, surely nothing will happen to all that wooden furniture, guys. Surely nothing will happen. Good news, your majesty. I've received a vision. I saw you bathed in holy light, blades and missiles. Missile? Crumbling to dust before they could reach you. There's... There's missiles? The heck? You do not need to recruit an honor guard. The ninth god will shield you from all harm. Oh, guys. If the high inquisitor says it... Says it... <laughs> said it... I can't talk. If the Inquisitor says I'm being protected by God, you know, she, she wouldn't lie to me, right? I'm all about that faith, you know? <laughs> so, shut up! <laughs> I've never seen the Knight protect someone from a sword to the chest. You need tangible guards, your majesty. No, 
well, I don't know, but the Inquisitor said that God will protect me, guys. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean, I still want to look at the at all the other factions as, uh, you know, warriors and stuff. The Northern Warriors! Dang! Bearded oaks with axes and no manners. They'll get drunk and cause trouble in the palace. Well, you wouldn't do that, right? No discipline, and I can't guarantee they won't run off on some random quest. But they're honorable, and in a fight, unbeatable. How about... Southern Battlelands. Terrifying warriors, and they've sworn a vow of silence, so at least they won't spill state secrets. But their faith and loyalty is to the church above all, even your safety. Easter Knights, we know these ones. <laughs> The Order of the Drowned Rose are highly respectable. They understand palace etiquette, but it's been years since they fought an actual battle. They mostly write poems these days. I like to imagine that the marshal wears an eye patch on both sides. <laughs> oh, oh, they probably do. <laughs> Your marshal just weapon begging for an ass whooping. What? Anyway. Um. So, guys, do we want to put our trust in the ninth god? <laughs> Should we? Well, we're gonna get killed immediately. This is an awful idea. This is an awful idea. <laughs> oh, no. I don't know. <laughs> God is actually a good option. Stops the north? Oh? <laughs> Maybe? Alright, I don't need an honor guard. Your majesty, I must protest in the strongest possible terms. The nobles will consider this an insult to their warrior's prowess. And more importantly... Without an honor guard, you are totally unprotected. Is your life worth so little to you? The ninth god will protect me. <laughs> No doubt the common folk will see this as a sign of strength. But don't blame me when you wind up on the wrong end of an assassin's blade. <laughs> At last, a queen who trusts in the ninth. You have nothing to fear, your majesty. Your enemy's arrows shall miss and their sword shall falter. Surely, that's what's gonna happen, right? Surely I won't get stabbed in the back by an assassin. Ooh, where the auction already? Oh my god. <laughs> All right, let's see. Yeah, I don't know. More faith. <laughs> How about uh, the cathedral? Cathedral's good. Cathedral's pretty nice, and uh, definitely not a not a prison. Mm -mm. <laughs> no, and not an observatory either. Anyway, let's start it. Let's go. But I'm dying. E guys, let's go for E. How about we should, how about that faith, huh? Faith? Faith? Let's go? Yeah, yeah. Mm -mm. Don't waste still. <laughs> Yo, thanks for the sipping. Thank you. Why does nobody want to fund E? What the heck? What's wrong with the cathedral, guys? Especially you, grandees. Don't you like God? Don't you want more faith? <laughs> it's going to be an E. Less faith? Wait, and more... <laughs> wait, wait, no, 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 that's F. Okay, I got confused. I would just cancel each other out. Less stability. No! Wait, what, what did you guys need again? Like, less than five? No, less than four. Oh, no. No! Oh my... Not funny. I don't want these buildings. Uh, but observatory is pretty cool. Alright, I can deal with it. No, but guys, if you can't see the stars, you will you won't believe in God anymore. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> Blood money. Oh, it's John! Oh god, what are you doing? Mmm. Mm. <laughs> What? I feel like we've had this before, too. Yeah, we've had this! Mm, mm, uh, nothing is wrong! Absolutely nothing is wrong in the North. 
Oh, well, that's good to hear. Let's uh, drink some wine. There's definitely not an old witch who lives at the border of my lands, and I definitely haven't been having money troubles. And most importantly, she didn't offer me a fortune in exchange for just a drop of my blood, enough of which I absolutely didn't accept. <laughs> oh, great stuff. Where's my wine? Ever since I didn't accept the witch's bargain, I haven't found myself obeying her every command. I definitely still rule over my estate, not her. Furthermore, she didn't forbid me from telling you any of this, and I'm not using negative statements to bypass her magic. Okay, last time we just went along with it like, uh, oh yeah, I believe you. As in, uh, nothing's wrong. <laughs> But it'll lower face, so we can't do that now. <clears throat> oh, hang on. I'm starting to think you mean the opposite of what you say. <laughs> Nay, your, great your greatness, that's not the case. It isn't? Damn, guess I was wrong. <laughs> oh, damn, all right. All right. No, never mind, I guess. <laughs> Let's fetch the court physician and to see if we can lift your curse. <laughs> After we confined to a cold iron box with nothing to eat but salt, the magic stops affecting Chief John so strongly. Is he even able to talk about this ordeal directly? I always tolerated the bloody witch. She'd sell medicine to the peasants and help them find lost sheep. I never suspected she was capable of something like this. We need to call a vote. Send a regiment to take back my stolen lands. <laughs> wow, should the council help, John? Take back John's land and burn the witch at stake. Take the land, but let the witch go free. We're not gonna do that. Let John suffer the consequences of his bargain. <laughs> it's basically like, fuck around, find out. This is what you get. <laughs> hey, everyone, says John. <laughs> All right, um... Oh, but it's a gamba. Well, oh, oh, military's pretty high, right? Military's pretty high. I'm sure the gamba will work out. I'm sure gamba will be fine. Gamba, 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 gamba. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> oh, oh. I know you guys like the gamba. You can never resist it. Never. That we could have gone with B. Like, it would have messed up the Count's goal for the treasury, you know? But Gamba is stronger. Gamba where? Gamba here. Military Gamba. Let's see if we can actually get the witch to burn at the stake. Oh. Erm. Um. <laughs> when the Northern troops arrive on Chief John's estate, the land itself fights them. The soil swallows them whole. Three snatch them up and tear them apart. By the time they fight their way through the manor, the witch has already escaped, along with what remained of John Smith's gold. You're poor now, Ribozo. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Faith can go lower, it's supposed to be higher. The peasants have no memory of their time under the witch's rule, but the churches have been burned. <coughs> The profane messages sprawled on their charred walls, and the fields have been sown with salt. Hey, that's kind of mean. Why would the witch do such a thing? <laughs> a lowered faith, though. It's supposed to be higher! An honorable challenge. What was this then? Eric Colt, your highness, this pigeon-livered popinjay... <laughs> this pigeon-livered popinjay has besmirched my honor. He claimed that I am a cowardly cheat. Well, are you? <laughs> and I did not earn my scars in battle. Which pigeon-livered popinjay are you talking about? That honorless dog, Orestrius of the Chiefs. <gasps> what was that about your scars? My scars are a symbol of my many duels. They are hard-earned badges of honor for any grandee. <laughs> Drama! I would duel him to regain my honor, as any grandee should, but Chief Orestrius will not accept without your express permission. Well, should I? I mean, be, you know, we get to look at a little battle. 
Now hold on a minute. This is a matter of respect. We can't be dueling in Queen Shiva's throne room without due process. Wah. Wah. Why, why, why are we getting the sub cool thing now? <laughs> what the heck? You guys, we have the sub goal. Although it says 99 in the corner. <laughs> Let's go! Train whistle. It's worth a train whistle. <laughs> Yay! Anyway. <laughs> You're a coward! Arrest you is. What? What more than me? It's that time of the month again, Shiva hype, Shiva hype, Shiva hype. Shiva hype, Shiva hype, thank you so much for the prime sub. Thank you for the prime sub. Yo, any primers in the chat? <laughs> Did you know, like, I apparently had Amazon Prime for like two years without realizing it, and I never used like the prime sub. <laughs> Until I cancelled it. Like, I got... <laughs> I suddenly got a mail up and I'm like, I have Amazon Prime? Since when? <laughs> and I didn't want it. And then I just cancelled it. Because I didn't use it. And then I was like, damn it. I, I could have had a free sub somewhere. But anyway. Um, be sure to check your Amazon to see if you have any Primes. Alright. You're a coward, Orestrius. And you may as well admit it now. A coward? That's rich coming from you. Sure you didn't earn no scars in a farming accident? What? <laughs> Yo! Balls me. Give it a me sub. Thank you! <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! You guys want to fight? Oh my god. Now we have an actual hype train, so now we can do the whistle for real, for real. <laughs> I wonder like how long I can keep the whistle going. I have a lot of breath, guys. <clears throat> Should I try it? Let's see how long we can keep the train whistle going. Alright. <laughs> no wait, I can do it longer. Hold on. I can't <laughs> oh, I ran out of breath I'm so fast. <laughs> Five seconds. No, that's pathetic, guys. Oh, I can do it longer. I can't wait. <laughs> that takes up a lot. Of okay, that's that. <laughs> you run out of breath pretty fast with the train whistle, guys. I, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. You run out of breath pretty fast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh my god. <sighs> anyway, I'm good. No, oh, I'm tired. <laughs> what do you call? You guys keep forgetting my height. I'm crying. <laughs> yeah, it's 170. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, you may duel. It might be fun to watch. There will be no duel. If I have enough, I rest them. <laughs> Yo, Chelsea! Thank you for the prime sub! Yo, prime sub! Thank you! Thank you, thank you! <laughs> Alright, you do my duel. It might be fun to watch. <laughs> that for real be like, yeah, you go fight. That'll be pretty fun. Eggold grins wickedly, drawing his sword. Orestia snarls, draws his axe, and squares up to face Eric Cole. Wow. <laughs> the duelists circle each other before Grandi Eric steps in for the first move. Orestrius jumps backwards, batting the sword away. When Eric comes in for another strike, Orestrius is ready for it. Though the Grandi is feigning, he has already anticipated it, dodging out of the way and stepping inside Eric Cold's reach. The axe bites into Eric's shoulder, triggering a pained yell. Ah, I yield, I yield! He drops his sword, his face a mixture of agony and embarrassment. Alright, hand over the, the money, how it's... <laughs> that was it? How boring. 
the grandee Eric has suffered a crushing embarrassment, the grandees still view your sanction of the duel as a respect to their customs and are clearly grateful. Oh, let's go. They liked it. Anyway, finding a spouse. Yo, let's marry. Get baby. In the twisty passages of your castle, you can avoid your, your advisors, the nobles, even the spy master. There's one person you can't avoid. Your mother. No! Mom, no! Why did you find a spouse yet? It's been a year! I've been busy! You better find the time. Don't worry, I'll take the liberty of finding eligible candidates. What's your preference? Men? Women? Do you not mind? Go ahead with any. <coughs> I'm dying. Uh -huh. Excellent. I'll send up messengers to the most influential noble families in the kingdom. Let's see what they have to offer. Better be some handsome people. Better be handsome, otherwise, what's the point? Um, oh, that's everything. And season. Far to the south, a pair of grandees are conversing on the balcony of a hillside villa. One of them paces up and down, clearly agitated. <laughs> Has the archbishop agreed to meet with us yet? I sent him four letters last week. No luck so far. Probably surprising. The old coot won't move against the queen unless he knows he's on the winning side. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, we got Piggy here! And the other one who... Uh, I, I forgot the name. Oops. <laughs> Wait, who was it? Uh, yeah, it's you. How is it? <laughs> Reese's aim is to lower the kingdom's stability to four or less. What? Across the kingdom, discontent with the queen is rising. Everyone knew she was better off, but until now, it hadn't occurred to most people just how much better off. No, no, I'm, I'm just like you peasants. I, I, um, <clears throat> I also eat stale bread and muddy water. Um, <laughs> now the peasants are asking all sorts of troublesome questions about their. Benevolent overlord, and as everyone knows, once a question has been asked, it can't be unasked. Meanwhile, perched atop a hill in the remote eastern wilderness, there sits a dark, austere castle. At the top of the tallest tower, Countess Lake Locke and their co-conspirators can be found celebrating with a few glasses of wine. The peasants are getting rowdy, and it's all thanks to us. Now that they know how much wealth the queen's hiding, they're itching to get rid of her. <coughs> I need some water. Blah. <clears throat> Careful we don't get them too riled up, mind you, or to start asking questions about our wealth as well. Oh, you guys are like, oh, we can't have that. <laughs> yes, now it's time to incite some real chaos. Show them that Queen Shiver is not only greedy, she's utterly incompetent too. Lower stability to four or less. No! Ah! <laughs> <Ugh. clears throat> need to bribe the and then text the other two. Hee <laughs> hee. That's good. That's probably fine. Can't text me. I'm broke. I can text you. Put you in the in the minus. Don't you text us? Why not? Why shouldn't I? <laughs> you guys have too much defiance. I need to lower it, Counts. I need to lower that. Anyway, thank you for the money. <laughs> <laughs> We're a rebel if you do. Rebel, how? You don't have enough defiance. But <laughs> worsely meddling. Blood and stars. Oh, it's Newt! <laughs> Blood and stars, how many times do I have to tell you? It's not my responsibility anymore. It's not new to second. It was your father who stole all my gold. So I must pay. The new diet is new to second. Aw, oh, new, what kind of shenanigans are you up to now? Have mercy, your highness. The former Count Newt turned up at my estate demanding my jewelry and valuables, saying they were needed in Zerona for research. Kept babbling about strong electromagnetic fields or some such nonsense. I warned you, wizards always cause trouble. Wait, are you still the wizard then? Wait, then is it actually a bug? 
Huh? I'm so confused. We got two nudes, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> nah. That's so confusing. He doesn't die. But wh why do we have a newt and a newt a second? That's so confusing. What should be done about the wizard Gordius and his new and presence newt? Compensate Cosmic from the treasury? Force Count Newt to pay for his father's theft? Summon the wizard to answer for his apprentice's crime? <clears throat> That'll be pretty funny. <coughs> Someday this cough will go away, chat. Someday it will go away. And the grandees will have to do without their pretty necklaces. Newt second is his son, who is now his noble self. He gets to both vote and was Oh! Oh, like that. Dude, has got two characters now. What the heck? See, it's funny, guys. Let's see what the wizard does. Whisper, you know, the wizard might do something silly for the kingdom. What if the wizard just kills Newt on the spot? Like, is that with lightning? Dead. <laughs> oh, wait, what do you guys want? <clears throat> eh? Man, they're all kind of... Just do that. Go ahead. The game only really has two recognized ways to say why someone is no longer on a council. A, they died. B, they're in jail. I had that when I was playing with another streamer. Like, my character just got thrown in jail for no reason, by the way. I, just, I, got, I got thrown in jail for no reason. And, and then it was just like... You're dead. Shiver the second has joined the council. I'm like, what? Ha Why? No! Like, there's no chance for me to get out of prison. But, you know, that happened. Compensate Cosmic from the treasury. Voting us closed. But, but what about Newt, your highness? This solves nothing. <laughs> well, Cosmic, at least you've got money now. You've got money. <laughs> Yo, Zed Bomb, what's up? How you doing? He continues to grumble as he scoops your gold into a pouch. <laughs> His words prove to be right, as more grandees are soon deprived of their valuables. Chicken, cigars, and family heirlooms, and a few prized hogs. Oh wait, those are your valuables. All in the name of progress, or so Newt claims. Newt always up with your shenanigans. Always. Always. Not this again. <laughs> it's Piggy. Someone stop that armoire! Just as you're on your way to the council hall, an antique cabinet runs past you at blinding speed. Grandy Piggy follows in close pursuit. Oh, greetings, your majesty. I'm having some uh, troubles with my furniture. I bought it from Chief Sai just last week. <laughs> of course, today I hear, I hear this has been happening to all that scoundrel's merchandise. I warned that good-for-nothing filcher. The forest they chopped down was an ancient hardwood grove. The trees were alive. They still are. Please, Your Majesty, the council must step in. Alright, kill Sai. No. <laughs> Arrest Sai. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> which one should we do, guys? Well, we then we already do C once. No, I think we should arrest Sai. It will be pretty funny. <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know. I could veto C, but... I'll leave it to the people. I'll leave it to the people. It is boring. No, it will be funny. The Sai gets put in prison. That's pretty funny. That's pretty... <laughs> Not like we have any money you can take. Yeah, I text it all already. You just want to see me chained up! <laughs> and then burn your furniture. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, my hand hurts. You know what? I might, the skin on my hand is so dry. It is straight up like... Like cracking. Ow. What the heck? It says, when is my hand so dry? Dry hands. Dry hands. Oh, wait, you're getting arrested. <laughs> I was distracted. You got, you're getting arrested. That's pretty funny. 
Lotion it up. I don't like the feeling of lotion on my hands. It, it gets all... Like, it's all greasy and sticky and... And I can't touch anything else and... Uh, but I don't like it. No! No, 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 no. Burning is closed. Arrest Chief Sai and throw out all the furniture. <laughs> yeah, then it does its job. I don't like the feeling of it. Lick the lo... No! <laughs> <laughs> I always have a lotion on my computer table for that. My hands get dry. I just bear with it. Like, sure, someday my hands will not be dry again. You know, though, like in the summer, they'll get sweaty. <laughs> but wait, no one takes those silly Eastern superstitions seriously. It's their fault, not mine. <laughs> yeah, surely John won't use the lotion for anything else, right? <laughs> well, there goes Sai. Up and down the kingdom, nobles are forced to take hatches to their shiny new furniture. Some even report hearing voices echoing from the splinters. Chief Sai has been imprisoned. Sai the second has joined the council. Thank you, Mississippi. Of course, the northern furniture trade is never the same. Who can trust them? Not me, that's for sure. Ooh, I forgot I could zoom in. Oh my god. Eligible options. More sippy. Stop, it's too much. I found three matches for you. Alright. And a partner for life. Okay, but show me show me them now. I wanna see him. Whoosh. The first portrait. This is Odwin, firstborn daughter of the Northern Doctor Guess Who clan. She's your typical Northern lass. Big, brawny. And honest. In the same way an axe to the face is honest, huh? <laughs> oh my god. What? Even among the Northerners, she's made something of a name for herself as a fearsome warrior. People say she nurses a grudge, though. Erm. Um, okay. I mean, she's pretty. Alright, next. This is Desmond, the eldest heir of the Eastern Ember Dynasty. Forgive this nudie expression. I'm sure that's caused by an errant brushstroke. Spends most of their time indoors, poring over musty tomes. They're obsessed with their family's legacy. Aren't they all? Aren't they all? <laughs> my child, always my child appears. I mean, they look, they look all right. Intriguing. And finally from the south, Balthazar, the eldest son of the Eric Holt lineage. He's reputed to have an ego the size of the sun. But there's nothing wrong with confidence, right? They're all pretty. What the heck? <laughs> Like many in the South, he claims to put his faith in the Ninth God above all worldly concerns. And he's got a grand plans by all accounts. He wants to change the world. Not bad. Chad, they're all hot. I don't know who to pick. I was gonna pick the hottest one, but they're all hot. I don't know. <laughs> ah! I do want to pick someone like either from the Chiefs or the Grandees. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure I've picked... Like, I've married some of the counts before in previous games, you know? So, either the Chiefs or the Grandees. Chief needs faith, so probably the last one. Oh, that would be... That's pretty good. True. Hmm. My son has an ego, like the North Warrior. Hmm. Hmm. With you having no guards, Odwin is the obvious choice. You also have a point there. Oh, Chai, you guys have po good points. Um, <laughs> One is an arrogant guy who will probably tell you how to do your job. The other is the last who will be the bear for you. Okay. I'm kind of convinced. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right, damn it. <laughs> Fine. We'll get... We'll go. All right. Odwin it is. Odwin it is. Big, brawny, and honest. Alright, Odwin. Alright, alright. Alright, 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 alright. Odwin of the North. Excellent. I'll make the arrangements. Let's go! Yeah! I want the big, brawny last. Let's fucking go! In season. Mmm. 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 I'll keep the ones I have now. Oh. 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 I want to get married now, right away. 
Your wedding to Arwen is naturally the talk of the kingdom. Nobles and peasants alike travel from across the realm to attend. For a week and a day, the capital is one giant party. It feels like you're the only one not taking part. Instead, you're getting ready for the ceremony. Soon enough, you're standing in St. Bernard Bertrand's Cathedral with Odwin at your side. Okay, I'll try not to be mean to her this time, chat. Like, I've been mean to all my other wives and husbands. But, you know, not on purpose. But this time, I'll be nice. I'll, I'll try my best to be nice. I do. I, I, I My wife. Yes, queen and wife. Let's go! <laughs> After the wedding, of course, there's a feast, and after the feast, a dance. Your new wife, Odwin, delivers a short but heartfelt toast, expressing a wish to get to know you better. By the time you find yourself alone with Odwin, it's past midnight and you've never felt more tired. I miss the north. It's too warm down here, and people twist their words. They don't mean what they say. Hmm. The first one seems kind of boring. I'd much prefer to rule from the north if I could, or it's not so bad down here. Maybe the the second one, you know, like, you know, so that we, like, I, I, I the second one, right? Yeah, I'd much prefer to rule from the north if I could. Maybe she'll be like, oh, really? All right, let's move now. <laughs> I, I can see why everyone down here speaks in circles, insulting each other without really insulting each other. I don't know how you stand it. How about it's tough, but I have to do my duty. I'm not gonna be like, oh, I love it. <laughs> it's tough, but I have to do my duty. By the old gods, I feel for you. I couldn't do it. After finishing the last of the wine, you head to your separate bed chambers. It seems your wife is happy to take her time getting to know you. Let's go, Chan! Everything is going smoothly. Smoothly. Alright, famine in the north. H Hello, your majesty. I've traveled all the way from the north to beg you to do something about the price of grain. <laughs> I can't afford to feed my family. A day of backbreaking work isn't enough to buy a day's worth of bread. <clears throat> I don't care. <laughs> Wait, you look cool! What? I like the, the war pain. She's right, the grain price in the north is beyond all control. Greedy merchants rake in profit while the common folk starve. <laughs> Wait, was that you? Yeah, it was! Okay, I, I glanced at the name but I immediately forgot it. You look cool, you look sick. Wait, wasn't the... Oh, what's my wife's name again? <laughs> Something with win at the end. Wasn't she your family? Yo, that's sick. That's sick. Odwin. Yeah, that's the name. I, I, I already forgot. <laughs> I forgot the name of my wife. I'm an awful, I'm an awful wife. What should be done? All right, put a cap on the rice of grain, subsidize grain, and ensure it's sold for half its worth. Import grain from the east, distribute it for free. The free market will correct itself in due time. But that doesn't sound very good. Um, <laughs> we need more stability. <laughs> we, we need more stability. We don't need less stability, guys. No, 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 no. You guys are trying to vote for a D, a B, huh? Why would you... Well, no. No, that's bad for me. That... <laughs> <clears throat> How about a gamba, guys? Gamba? Gamba, gamba. Mmm. Come on! Bloop! Ha! No B for you! <laughs> How'd you know I was gonna veto B? How did you know? Now we all just gonna vote for D instead. <laughs> vote for a C. C is good. Oh, but my money, though. No! Ah! C does so much stuff. I, I got... But... That's like a bunch. C, 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 C! Let's go! <laughs> Button is close. <clears throat> Import grain from the east and distribute, distribute it for free. 
The noise is in your depth, your majesty. Oh my money! Oh my god! The kingdom's coffers open and the tide of free grain floods from east to the north, putting many northern merchants out of business, but giving some counts a nice windfall. Oh lord. <laughs> the grain proves sufficient to keep the peasants alive. Until the next harvest, which will hopefully bring better days. Well, hopefully. If I'm better. <laughs> better. Crystal pox. Your holiness, I bring dreadful tidings. An outbreak of crystal pox is ravaging the south. Wait, we've had this before. Why does this keep happening? Um, alright. How many dead? Whole villages have succumbed. The disease is terribly virial. V yeah, it's bad. <laughs> Your Majesty, if I may make a suggestion. Victims of crystal pox are only infectious at the boil stage. Once they are fully covered in crystals, they no longer spread the disease. Yo, what's up, Dust? Time to refill the treasury, we should. Indeed, the pox crystals can be harvested and used in jewelry. If we allow the pox to spread, we could make money. <laughs> Yo, we can make some money from the sick people. Upon my honor, woman, that is heartless, even for you. <laughs> Eric taking none of that. The only way to fight the pox is to close the roads and shut down all trade until the wave subsides. Is that what you want? For the South to lose money? True, we do need money. Um, guys, how about we just let the crystal pox spread and, we <laughs> and get the money out of it? Surely, nothing bad will happen, right? <laughs> hmm. It'd be, it'd be pretty funny. Look at all the stuff it does. <laughs> I mean, this is good for you too, not gonna lie. Surely, this will go well. Surely, spreading the crystal pox and harvesting the crystals will do no harm at all, right? No, we can't just do nothing. That's boring. That's boring. We gotta do something. We gotta do something. Go crazy. Go crazy. <laughs> Spread the box. Spread the box. Spread the box. Spread the box. No! No, why are you voting for me? You guys wanna do nothing? You guys are so boring. You guys are so lame. Just so lame. Uh, putting us close. <coughs> uh, I choked in my spit. Anyway, we don't do anything. <laughs> Basically, we're like, mm, you know, that's their problem. The council dithers and delays and does nothing. And the crystal pox spreads like wildfire across the south. <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> Farms life follows. Soldiers die in droves. Peasants turn away from a god that abandoned them. However, it's not all bad news. Making the best of a bad situation, the grandees harvest gemstones from the pox-stricken peasants and sell them at a tidy profit. Well, at least someone's getting money. Not me, though. Not me. Well, I wish it were me, but it's not. So, you know, it's fine. I can live with it. I can live with it. Northern sagas tell of Odhal's horn, once gifted to mortals by the honey-blooded prince himself. Then lost to the snows of time, never to be found again. Until now. <gasps> no. I have it. Odhild has spoken. <laughs> oh, it's Jan. Last night during the storm, I beseeched the drunken vessel himself. A loaded night lightning strike the earth far to the north. That's where we will find the horn. You mean... Into the frozen wastes? I have everyone mustered at best warriors. We're headed into the domain of the ice giants. And now you must raise your military to five or more. Ma, oh, but you already have that. No. <laughs> this sucks. You guys are too good. You're gonna... Uh, no. Don't... No, guys. Don't be that good. Oh, <laughs> no. Pox in the capital. This is what happens. <laughs> All right, let's first do wizard troubles. That's fun. More troubles in Serona, your, your majesty. Ever since that stone-twisted monster Gordius took up residence there to train his apprentices, the surrounding fields have withered. The soil is turning to stone, and a number of peasants have been struck with leprosy. Oh lord. <laughs> we can't do anything. Leave him alone. Gamba. 
No, we can't do that. Well, we could. It would be pretty funny doing Gamba. Hmm. 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 Who needs the night where we can drag Valhalla to our hall? No, but, but, but what about the faith? What about the faith? I have become powerful, my queen. Well, you're not gonna ruin the kingdom, right? Right? Why would he do such a thing? Wizards are so powerful that they're surrounded by cursed ambient magic. If they stay in one place too long, it seeps into soil and citizen alike. They all know this. By squatting in Serona, Gordius is willingly endangering the south. Okay, council. What are we gonna do? Ninth bless you, your highness. Well, we don't have enough money for that. Assemble militia to push him out with 5% chance. <laughs> Give Sayrona to Gordius? No, uh, what? Why would he let Gordius continue as he wishes? Gamba, you guys are crazy. No, no, guys, that's a bad idea. That is a really bad idea. <laughs> that's, that's an awful idea. Why would you want to do A? <laughs> he moves 5%? See, it's funny. Whoa, whoa. They're all pretty funny, I'm not gonna lie. 5% <laughs> is enough. What if we actually succeeded, though? That'd be amazing. I believe. Sure, guys. Sure, let's... <laughs> I don't think it's gonna work. No, I don't. <laughs> I mean, there's a 5% chance. 5%. 5% is nearly 10%. That's nearly 20%. Yeah, and if you... You know, that's like 25%, that's like a quarter percent, which is almost a half, you know, 50-50%. And 50-50 means like... It's pretty much guaranteed to happen, you know? <laughs> Alright, Gamba it is. Assemble the military, get this guy out of here. Surely this will go well. <gasps> <laughs> to everyone's great surprise, the suicidal mission actually works. Whether Gordius was truly afraid or simply couldn't be bothered to fight, you'll never know. <laughs> actually, <what? laughs> no way! Oh my god. Regardless, he and his apprentices clear out of Serona when they see the troops coming. <laughs> Hopefully you haven't just made a powerful enemy. No, surely they won't come back for revenge, right? Actually, the gamble worked out. The gamble worked out, guys. Oh my god. <laughs> Can't believe it. <laughs> my master wasn't in the mood to fight. Oh, how generous. <laughs> Box in the capital. How could this have happened? Your majesty, prepare to lose all that. No, 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 no. It'll be fine. Your Majesty, the Crystal Pox has spread from the south to the capital itself. Hundreds of our citizens have succumbed. Our streets are covered in the glittering statues of the afflicted. Ooh, pretty. I mean, oh, oh no, that's bad. Oh no. <laughs> Indeed, Your Majesty, if only we could have prevented it. If only, Chad, if, if only, you know, if only we... <laughs> In any case... A rumor has spread among the peasants. They believe the only cure for the crystal pox is their, their queen's touch. All right. Um, <clears throat> well, what do, what do they mean by that? Exactly what it sounds like. You laying your hands upon one of the infected and, I don't know, blasting them with your royal healing powers. Well, but <laughs> I don't have royal healing powers. We both know that, but the common folk have always been superstitious about the hidden magics of the queen. If you don't heal a few of them, they may storm the palace just to get their hands on you. Or rather, your hands on them. Arm. <laughs> Maybe they're right. What if I can actually help? I have the power of God on my side. The crystal pox has no cure, your majesty. Only the ninth god can help them now. I suggest we look for the count to the council for guidance. No, no, but I've been blessed by the ninth god. Surely my my hands will cure these 
lowly peasants of their disease. That's a <laughs> and surely I won't be sick, right? <laughs> Power of God, collect the faith of two. All right, I mean twelve. <laughs> hey, that that's still decent. It's decent. It's <laughs> it's decent, guys. Look, look, look at those chances. Those are pretty high. Those are pretty high. You know, I'm like, you, you know, you know, that's that's pretty good. It's pretty good. Yeah, you know what? Go crazy, guys. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna touch some people, <laughs> but how many are we gonna touch? <laughs> <laughs> Just a few? Oh, everyone. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna touch all the pests. <laughs> oh no. Oh, this is awful. You guys are purposely picking the lowest percentage out of the two. I can't believe this. No, we are lucky, right? Gamba. <laughs> the Gamba will be in our favor. Right? <laughs> <gasps> Screw you guys. <clears throat> I have the healing touch. The next day you ride out to the capital central central square and find a swarming mess of peasants waiting. They were a wretched sight. Ugh, encrusted with oozing boils and crystalline growths, climbing over each other in the eagerness to reach you. Touch me! Touch me, your majesty! <laughs> Okay, I will. <laughs> cure, cure us, save us. You walk out amongst them and lay your hands upon as many as you can. They bow and scrape and thank you for your kindness. But there are thousands of them. While they may be polite, their sheer numbers are terrifying. Still, somehow, the city watch keeps order. How do we do that? At the end of the day, you head back to the palace, exhausted to your very bones. Turns out you can't really cure it. Well, the crystal pox continues to ravage the capital, but the legend of your personal intervention spreads far and wide. Soon half the kingdom believes in your healing touch. I'm gonna start a religion. <laughs> but when, when the pox finally passes, gemstones litter the streets. But the people are too busy mourning to, to pick them up. Huh, I wonder why they're mourning. <laughs> The treasurer has her servants collect them under cover of darkness. Let's go. The people believe I'm magic and we get richer. This is a win-win for me. Bankruptcy looms, not anymore. Mm -mm. <laughs> Your majesty, I had booked this meeting intending to discuss our financial hose. Hose, I mean... <laughs> our hose. <laughs> We're gathered here today... To discuss our hoes, all right, <laughs> our woes. But you solved that issue on your own. Congratulations on digging us out of that dismal financial pit. All right, problem solved. <laughs> okay, well that's easy. <laughs> I thought I'm gonna do that one last to get some more money at the end, but we didn't have to. <clears throat> all right. Four. <laughs> Good luck with that, guys. It's not happening. Whoa, Shiv. No need to insult us like that. <laughs> got the hose in my console. I got <laughs> Wait, it hasn't started yet. Oh my god. Well, we need. We need. Um. Less military. <laughs> and more stability. And more faith, if possible, guys. How about a cathedral? How about we make a cathedral? Cathedral, yay! Cathedral, yippee! Yippee! Look at the cathedral, maybe? Maybe a cathedral, guys. Sounds good. We love we love God in this house. Bruh. <laughs> my 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 uh come on, come on guys. <laughs> no we want. Oh wait, one <laughs> A whole one for the <laughs> Why are you guys just funding with 50 and tens? What's wrong with you? What are with these tiny numbers? <laughs> no way. Oh lord. Oh lord. Oh, my eyes are itchy. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> you guys are crazy. 
Oh, there it is. There are the big numbers. The big boy numbers. Where's F, guys? How about a little bit of F? Oh. No. <laughs> no. No. Less stability and more farming. Why would you... Why farming? <laughs> Why farming? What are you planning with... <laughs> <clears throat> about my air, yo, baby. Your match to Odwin has grown stale. What? Oh, you get along well enough, and you've made some good memories together. But there's no spark. She cares more about perfecting her combat moves than your happiness. It's spark or no spark, you still need an heir. Congratulations are in order. The royal wedding was a magnificent affair. I'm very happy. Your happiness isn't as important as... Okay. As fulfilling your journey to the kingdom. <laughs> I was just like, yeah, I'm happy. I don't care. Where's your child? Where's an heir? But I'm glad you found a way to have both. You've done well so far, but something's still missing. An heir. You need someone young whose loyalty is assured. A child of your own would do the trick, even if they're a bastard. Or the youngest of your many cousins. No. My wife and I will have a child together. The additional method. No one will object to that. <clears throat> I'll arrange for you to take a month off from ruling so you can <clears throat> get down to business. Alright. <laughs> Let's see. The long march north. And drink some water. Good evening, your majesty. Tell me, have you ever heard of Odd Held's Horn? <coughs> Some kind of bottomless drink tavern promotion? <laughs> that, may, that may well be one part of its abilities, but there's certainly more to it than that. The Horn of Odd Held is a northern legend, a horn gifted to mortals before the Ninth Triumph during the Cursed Age. Pagan superstition, surely. Surely. Partly, the horn is likely the creation of one of the deposed gods. The chiefs have merely built upon the, up the myth as a way of understanding things beyond their understanding. But it is real. It's said to have the power to destroy any fortification with a single toot. <laughs> the chiefs are searching for it in the frozen wastes, having received a sign hinting at its location. You mean where the ice giants live? Precisely. We'll need to stop them before they retrieve it, if at all possible. They've been gathering troops for the expedition to the wastes. We must act quickly, or they could set off as soon as this winter. <gasps> now, you hastily assemble the council to deal with the chief's military buildup. <laughs> oh, I got the hiccups. The chiefs predictably deny everything. Would you deny us our right to protect ourselves from the ice giants? Bah! Wait, John, why are you complaining? <laughs> what? What should be done? To address the buildup of northern forces planning to head into the northern wastes. Okay, okay. Counts and grandees. We, we gotta make sure that they don't win. <laughs> we gotta make sure. Um, oh lord. Okay, the first one wouldn't have any use because we won't be able to lower military enough. We can do B. The lay scheme for one season. Vito C is a good yeah, that's a good one. I was I I didn't even start to think about which law to use. <laughs> Merely one newt. <gasps> no, it was two, not newt. Ding ding. Alright, which one are we doing? I'm gonna annoying them like no matter what we pick oh oh ah 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 beep 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 why not be uh, that's not gonna be enough oh wait there's not there's not gonna be enough a eh? not gonna lower the military enough it's gonna lower by one but they're still gonna be able to do it guys no what's this uh what be I'm waiting. I want it. I want it to be B. <laughs> no! Dang it! Why A? That makes sense, guys. Or does it? Gah. 
You think a piece of paper will stop us? <laughs> you don't know what a northern chief is made of. Although you decree the scourge as a few law-abiding northern warriors from joining the expedition, you cannot stop them by law alone. It didn't work! Guys, it didn't work. Or in the east. <clears throat> Your Highness, a monster has been stalking my farms at night, smashing down the doors of cottages and feasting on the peasants inside. Ooh, is this a rare creature? How many victims? Dozens, Your Grace. And only a few have survived the attacks. The, survi the survivors tell a garbled story about gleaming fangs and amid a mountain of blood-soaked fur. Oh... Death not my doing, it better not be. You're already enough of a menace. I should the council deal with the monster in the east. Send the council's army to deal with it? Offer substantial bounty on the monster? Or we don't care. <laughs> mm. Gamba. <laughs> I knew it! I knew it! Uh, Gamba. G Gamba. Yeah, no, it was slow. We, we we managed to get the 5%, but now, like, we're gonna be pushing it. We're gonna be pushing it. We're gonna be pushing it. <laughs> we're gonna be pushing it, guys. No. What's the other ones? Defiance less? Stabil they all kind of suck. They all kind of suck. You can't stop the gamba trick. Gamba. Gamba. Oh, oh, the voting C. This is no concern of ours. Well, grandees, do you not care about your neighbors? Do you not care about your neighbors? What's going on here? <laughs> oh, oh. This is gonna be a tie. I like how nobody's picking B. Nobody wants B. Oh, they don't care themselves. What the heck? So, you re really see? See? Ooh. You guys just want lower stability. Well, it's raised by one because more than 50% picked one joke, man. Putting us close. Dun -dun. <clears throat> the monster continues to menace the east, growing more bold every day. You hear reports that it no longer confines it at its attacks during the nighttime. Uh oh. Uh oh. Soon, peasants are too afraid to tend their crops, which lie rotting in the fields. Uh-oh. That's not good. That's not good. Wah. <laughs> this game feels like it could have a... Like a DLC to expand the regions, like on the sides here. That'd be pretty cool. Anyway, end season. Unbeknown to the rest of the kingdom, a great battle has taken place in the frozen wastes. Chief John staggers home to his clan hall, where Otter is waiting. It is done. The ice giants have been defeated, at great cost. Behold, the horn of Oddheld. As he brandishes the horn, the room goes silent. A crooked old ram's horn by the looks of it, but as big as a person's head and inlaid with gold and ancient runes of power. Oh my god. By each and every god, this horn has the power to collapse buildings, cause earthquakes, and even destroy mountains. We must assemble the other chiefs at once to decide how, on how it will be used. Um, uh, how about... Um, uh... Oh, oh no. How about B, guys? I think B would be very easy for you to get. Mm-hmm. How about B, huh? Sneak into the capital and collapse the palace onto the monarch's head? That'd be pretty funny, right? Don't you want to see that happen? It's no, 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 not A. No, A is not fun, guys. Destroy kingdom's food supply. That's kind of boring. No, guys. No, no, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> ah! Or the farming. It's already low! <laughs> but this horn will collapse mountains and castles and swallow up farmlands. No one can stop us. Before we can make demands, we need their attention. We'll see that their food supplies are precarious enough to make them desperate. And then we'll make our move. Okay, counts, grandees. Yeah, like, we can't. 
we, we gotta increase the farming if they get it like they just win they just win <laughs> and you guys lose <laughs> we don't have food so no one can have food <laughs> I will give them a demonstration of its power, then an ultimatum. Grant order or starve. For the final stage of the scheme, the chiefs must lower the other region's farming to a combined total eight or less. Okay. <clears throat> That's not... Okay, you're kind of close to that. <laughs> Back in the east, Countess Lake Lock has, let, has met with her co-conspirators once again. <laughs> Do we lose if you don't... No... <laughs> No, but you guys want to win, right? <laughs> you get a bigger chance at winning if uh, you make sure the Chiefs don't win before you. <laughs> the wine is being passed around in good measure, but there seems to be little cause for celebration. It's no good. The lowborn are losing momentum. If we don't keep up the pressure, they'll go back to living their normal lives in peace. But... Lazy good for nothings. Can't even get off their backsides for one measly revolt. We have to keep them unhappy. Don't allow the queen time to stabilize. Oh, the kingdom's minty to four or less. Probably the same for the other one then. Wow. Tax time! Bang, bang, bang. <laughs> uh, I mean, <clears throat> you guys are very rich, you know. I. Counts, why do you why are you defiant against me? That's so mean of you. That's so mean. <laughs> or I could just do, you know, common tax, I guess. <laughs> if Chiefs win East gonna be tax free, we don't care for money. Wow. Sure, tax the Chiefs, like there's anything to tax. <laughs> True, you have nothing. <laughs> Why are you heavy taxing us again? We have no money. <laughs> we have no money. Hmm. Your authority is high enough to take that money. True. I mean, I like money. I can tax like all oh, these guys here. You have so much. Look at this. It's only purple and yellow. <laughs> sure, the counts would would not like it. We'll increase their defiance, but. It would be so funny, though. Like, just get rid of all their money. That would be so funny. <laughs> ah! Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I'm also tempted to, to tax the chiefs more. Just so... Just to make sure they really don't win. <laughs> mm. Thanks for the money. <clears throat> Yoink. <laughs> Jailbreak? Wait, what? <gasps> <laughs> Wait, Sai? Your greatness. Do you remember Chief Scytheria? Well, that's you, isn't it? Nay your, nay, your highness. You're confused. I'm talking about my, uh, disgraced forebear. Forebear? What? What kind of word is that? Arm. Oh, the fellow I drew in my dungeon. <laughs> That's right, my uncle. You threw him in prison for selling haunted furniture. <laughs> well, he escaped. He cunningly concealed his escape tunnel behind a six foot wide oil painting of cavorting nymphs. Trekov's bones. Why was this villain allowed such a painting in his cell at all? <laughs> Villain or not, Saitiria was a chief and was accommodated accordingly at the chief's request. Let me hunt down this outlaw, your highness. Oh, it's Newt. I'll show these soft-hearted chiefs how a count keeps his prisoners. Hmm. <laughs> oh no, what should be done about Sai's jailbreak? Send Count Newt to hunt him down. Make prisons less comfortable for nobles. <laughs> That's just a whole nother issue. Put a bounty on Sai's head. Who cares about one escaped thief? No, the other ones are pretty funny. That's <laughs> hmm. <clears throat> Gamba, you want to go for the Gamba? You know, now Nude is hunting you. <laughs> Gamba! Gamba! It would be pretty funny. Let's go for the Gamba. Let's see if Nude can hunt down Sai. Oh no. <laughs> 
Oh, he's hunting my uncle. Okay, true. It's not directly you. It's just your... Yeah, your uncle. It's fine. <laughs> oh my god. It'll be pretty funny. It'll be pretty funny. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Wah, 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 wah. Oh. Burning us close. <clears throat> Send Count Newt to hunt him down. I swear by the blood of the dead, your highness, I won't let you down. I won't return until I've taken Cytheria's head. Next dawn, surrounded by a posse of hollowing eastern knights, Count Newt II rides out to hunt down Cytheria. A week later, he, he returns triumphant, holding up Sai's head as a trophy. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> Poor Sai. Ladies and gentlefolk, I got him. Oh my god. <laughs> Count Nut the second's success causes quite distress among the chiefs, especially those who knew Sai personally. But Eastern Morhell is sky high. Oh my god. <laughs> For Chief Saitarius, escape is cut short. The message is clear. No one can escape the Queen's justice for long. My authority is like super high. It's ten. No, nine. It's almost ten. Mmm, vultures. Is Jan. Greedy sun and merchants are taking advantage of cheap northern labor, your greatness. How can this be? Exploiting our natural resources and putting our trading companies out of business. There are vultures! Vultures! Is it really such a problem? Oh, it's stressed. I don't think I've seen you before. This is just business. What should be done about the southern merchants exploiting the north? Kick out the grandees, put trading companies back in northern lands. The queen will buy up the southern trading companies, bro, with what money? It's just business, baby. It's just how it is. It is what it is. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> well, um, mm, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know which one's good. All right, go ahead. Just vote for something. I don't know. Oh, y'all voting B? Or C? A? Oh, you guys don't know either. <clears throat> Am I a count? You should be able to see it in the overlay, but you are... Blah, 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 blah. Yes, you are. There you are. Count Adam Dragonfly. Oh my god, A. Oh my god. Running us close. Kick out the grandees and put training companies back in the northern lands. Egad, trust me, those northern fools will run my companies into the ground. All the sudden, companies in the north are transferred to new ownership. Lumber yards, fur traders, breweries, iron mines. It all goes to Chief John Smith. As the months pass, it becomes evident that Grandee's stress was wrong. The companies continue to make a nice profit, and the new owner spreads the wealth all across the north. All in now. You rich? You rich? Oh my god. Rising tempers. It's Unwin! A shiver. I have something I need to discuss with you. Surely. Your love for me. Oh. That old grandee thus challenged my honor. Calling me a coward only fit to fight training dummies. <gasps> Dust! How could you? <clears throat> how could you say that to my wife? What, what's the matter with you? I must regain my honor by fighting him at once. Ugh, no way. Yo, Adam Dragonfly, thank you for the follow. Thank you. Because she only fights dummies. <gasps> then surely you won't mind a fight with her, a duel. Give him a good kicking for me. By the old gods, I will. Not to worry. Oh. The very next day... You gave it away! No, okay. Grandy Dust is summoned to the fighting ring for the much-anticipated duel. 
You've always been a coward, Odwin. Don't worry, there's still time to back down. Odwin, Odwin, Odwin. Odwin grins ever so slightly. The two combatants circle each other like lions, their axes drawn and pointed at each other. When I finally come, yes, when I finally come to blows, the fight is almost oh, is over almost as quickly as it begins. A quick parry here, a thrust there, and suddenly Grandee Dust is holding up his hands in a display of surrender. That's what you get for insulting my wife! Well fought, you win. Odwin looks positively jubilant. She has proven her valor and vindicated the family name. Yay! Let's go! Go, Odwin! She crazy, Chad. She crazy. That's what I love about her. Yeah! <laughs> Alright, awesome. Bum, 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 bum. Not none of these. <clears throat> oh lord. I need to go pee, chat. Pee break. Where's my post-it note? Oh. No, stick. Oh, pff, I'm dragging like the, the whole thing here. <laughs> I like how <laughs> the, the props I have here, right? Is like <laughs> we got the, the fucking cat ears, the clown nose, like a, a leash and a PRP. <laughs> only the important props. I only have the important ones. All right, <laughs> clown nose. No, it's not. You must. You're just imagining things. There was no clown nose. <laughs> I haven't seen a magnificent red orb in aeons. It's gonna stay there. You won't see it. No. <laughs> okay, let's just click the noble list so you can just look at that. Zoom in on the kingdom so you know what's important. <laughs> the capital, that's the most important thing here. Anyway, I'll be back in a few minutes. Um, yeah, uh, bye. <laughs>
Hello. Raw. <gasps> I can breathe. All right. The paper was covering my mouth. Anyway, hi. <clears throat> oh my god, are you guys role playing? <clears throat> Nerds. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> anyway, what are we doing? How's your TikTok section? It's pretty good. I watched a TikTok with a bunch of ducks in it. Pretty cute. Yeah. <laughs> I was doing uh, important things, alright? Very important things. <laughs> I was about to ask someone to let me know when your bags I don't waste my diet on you watching TikTok. Let me right, let me do my thing, all right. <laughs> Look, it's all in the east. The heck? All right. Um, the true monster. Late log. Remember when I came to you with word of a monster preying upon peasants in the east? I've drunk a lot of wine since then. <laughs> that hideous monster was slaying peasants throughout the land, your highness. Oh yeah, I think I remember. I have reason to believe that the culprit may be one of my fellow counts. Count Adam Dragonfly, to be precise. <gasps> oh my god. The peasants believe that Count Adam... Uh, let me just say Adam transforms into a colossal bloodthirsty beast once every seven nights. <gasps> oh my god. <clears throat> what do you trust the words of peasants? You can learn a lot from peasants if you care to listen. Listen. What should I do? Pray, do not call a public vote on the matter. It would embarrass Count Adam greatly for no good reason. Hmm. Ooh. Faith? Raise the faith, bro? More faith? I'll send a team of inquisitors to investigate these claims. Very well, your highness. Whatever you say. A team of inquisitors are dispatched to investigate the claim that Count Adam sometimes turns into a monster. Hopefully, they will they'll return intact. <laughs> don't don't get ripped to shreds, please. <laughs> no good reason that you turns into a werewolf. Well, we don't know that yet, guys. You know. <laughs> the counts, of course, re register their disapproval that the church is meddling with their private affairs. I am all about that fate, you know. Sorry, that is my purpose in this game. A tasty innovation. I don't mean to exaggerate your majesty, but I believe I... Oh, not this again. I... <laughs> Wait, it's you! It's you, you're the monster! Oh my god. <laughs> I believe I have pioneered the most incredible invention in the history of mankind. I was hosting a small party, playing cards with some old friends. I called for a server to bring me something to eat that was both, that was both tasty and convenient as my hands were occupied. What my servant brought me that evening will change the world forever. Show me. Behold. A sandwich. It allows the hungry noble to consume two slices of bread plus meat all at once, saving valuable time. Whoa, the bread serves as an impenetrable barrier, preventing one's hands from being besmirched by meaty juices. Whoa, that's uh, astonishing. That's <laughs> naturally, since this is my invention, I propose to name it after me. In a few years' time, I expect everyone to be enjoying a nice Adam Dragonfly, li Dragonfly for lunch. <laughs> but naturally, this innovation cannot, made, cannot be made available for free. Every time an and Adam is consumed. I expect a small royalty payment. Alright, Chad. Whoa, uh, council. What are we gonna do? We <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> Give them the royalties they deserve. No, it's too delicious to be controlled. Only a one-time reward from the treasury. Or the servant should be rewarded instead. The servant did all the work. Yeah, but I mean, we, we voted the servant one last time, guys. We did that last stream. It's boring to do that one again. We should do another one. It'll be funny. It'll be funny, guys. Trust, trust. I can get, like, all close and personal to you, chap. <laughs> Just 
stare. Stare at you. <laughs> Look at all those votes rolling in. Ooh, B! Adam dragonflies are too delicious to be controlled. Real. Real. <laughs> it cannot be controlled. Blood and stars. If you don't reward me, how do you expect to motivate the next great innovator? Uh oh. Adam prove. Oh, wait, no, that's the name of the sandwich. Adam dragonflies prove a massively popular luncheon. Big we spring up across the east experimenting with new ingredients. Turns out you can put almost anything between two pieces of bread. Whoa! That actually makes me wonder, like, when was the sandwich invented? Like... When? I'm so curious. <laughs> A plague of rats! Rats! Chat! It's you again! <laughs> <laughs> Why are you everywhere, Adam? You are everywhere. <laughs> 1762? I want to see like an old painting of a sandwich. Do you think they would have painted sandwiches? They probably would have, right? Found Adam strides into the council chambers, distraught, waving a dead red by its tail. How unheard of. The fields and barns of East are overrun by vermin. And we've no more poison for these horrible things. We can't cope anymore. What, what, why'd you bring it here? Ew! Can the council help resolve this eastern rat plague? Take the rat and go. The east can handle this alone. Deliver a supply of rat poison. Send them a shipment of cats. <gasps> Chat. Cats, cats. Cats. Hire some adventurers to clear out the rodents. Yo, but what about the cats, though? What about the cats? The cats? No, not gamble. What about the cats, guys? Ah! There are two gambas, guys. Which gamble are you guys gonna pick? <laughs> oh lord! All right, go ahead. Do your gamble. Do your gamble. Hey, obviously, but some people are voting for B. <laughs> Y'all don't even know which one to vote. You say Gamba. Which which one of the Gambas do you want? <laughs> which of the Gambas? How about the poison one? Vote for the 50% Gamba. You think you're funny? You think you're funny? You think you're hilarious? You are not. Take the red and go. The East can handle this alone. Oh my. It's a tie, guys. I guess I get to pick. <laughs> Which gamba? All right. <clears throat> um, I'm gonna pick. Oh, I don't know. They're both. <laughs> they're both difficult for me. Like I. Can't really risk any of them going down. Eight or less? This is four or less. Oh lord. Um. Uh. <laughs> I'm gonna try and deliver a supply of rat poison. Yeah, let's see how that works out. Alright. <laughs> No! You send barrels of poison to the east. They're closely guarded, but during the night, one of the barrels goes missing. Word gets out and rumors erupt. Who stole the barrel? Is it an assassination plot? Is the queen poisoning citizens of the east? Was the rat inf infestation a cover story all along? The rats die off, but the unrest remains. The missing poison is never found. Yeah, look at the balance here. <laughs> Where did all these grandees come from? <laughs> like, actually, though, why are there only four chiefs and, like, <laughs> ten grandees? What the heck? Or it's like nine? Like, nine grandees? I don't get it. I don't know. <laughs> it's messed up. <laughs> 
this game has some issues with distributing rules. Just a little bit. <clears throat> the rats die off, but the unrest remains. The missing poison is never found. Mm, I'm sure it'll be fine. Surely it'll be fine. Uh-oh. <gasps> Guys, we need to watch out for the chiefs of the north. They're dangerous. They're gonna win. They're gonna win! And you know what happens if they win? The stream ends. <clears throat> I don't think you want that. <coughs> my heir, my baby! <gasps> Your quest for an heir is finally complete. You stand before the council holding a small child in your arms. Should I die, I ask my crown be passed down too. Let's go crazy, guys. My son. The assembled nobles break out into polite applause by designating an heir. You've cemented the stability of the kingdom. Yes! <laughs> Let's go! <gasps> Shiver the second. Your Highness, may I be the first to congratulate you on the birth of your son? What is his name? Shiver the second. Baby Shiv! Baby! <laughs> Praise be, your holiness. I'm sure little Shiver the second will grow up to be a chief of the old block. My baby, my baby. <laughs> Yo, mate, what's up? <clears throat> oh, the drone command works a bit differently. It says in the overlay, but you should you gotta add your pronoun after it. Like so, either join he, join she, join they. You know. So who wants to eat an Adam Dragonfly, knowing what it's made of? Now. <laughs> no, I don't want you to take. I don't want to taste that. Mm, all right. Congratulations on finding an heir. Now you just need to fulfill your ambition to win the game. Expect a visit from the spymaster soon. Aww. The printing press. Your holiness, a blacksmith in the south has come up with some sort of... printing contraption. Instead of relying on the painstaking efforts of scribes, it produces a hundred copies of a text an hour. How remarkable. Yes, your majesty. Isn't technology wonderful? Don't you see how dangerous this is? Books should stay in churches and universities, or else commoners will start getting ideas. <laughs> we can't have that. We, ha we can't have commoners becoming s smart, well-read. Uh, no, 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 we can't have them getting educated. Mm -mm. <laughs> Anyway, should the council suppress this dangerous new technology? <laughs> I'm evil, no reading for you. Wait, is that you? Hold on. No, it is! <laughs> Allow printing presses to be used by the masses. Only the church may use printing press. Oh, I like that one, though. <laughs> Only the university may use printing presses or forbid the use of printing presses altogether. Um. <clears throat> hmm. I think we should go with C to make sure that the chiefs don't win because it increases farming. No, but yeah, like it's gonna increase farming. So C is good, right? I think C would be pretty good. C. C, please. Wah! Power's time! Thank you, Monica Tetsup! Thank you! Uh, they went to... Bah, the name is gone. Uh, J-Rod Snipe 65! Thank you so much. I, that's so generous of you. Thank you so much for the gift of sub. Enjoy your emotes. Enjoy, enjoy. Why does nobody want to vote for C? <laughs> um, excuse me, guys. You want to vote for C? <clears throat> How do we have so many grandees, but only one of them is voting? Is, <laughs> is that how it works, you think? If it notices that no grandees are voting, it just puts more people into the grandees, even though it's already got a ton of people? You think that's how it works? It probably is, right? It, it totally is. 
That makes sense, right? Uh, that's probably how it works. That's why, like, there's so many grandees, but now all of them are voting. It still feels weird, true. The game knows who is in the game and who left. I mean, it can probably see who's still in the chat or not. How do we handle the rats? Uh, they disappeared eventually, but the people think I was trying to poison someone. I think. Anyway. <clears throat> Allow printing presses to be used by the masses. You're going to regret this one day, your grace. Ignorance is the only thing keeping the common folk in line. Nonsense! You're just jealous. In the end, both are right. The East develops a thriving publishing industry, but as more and more books are printed, radical ideas start to spread. Radical ideas such as Maybe peasants deserve rights, and should we even have a queen at all? <laughs> I was about to make a joke like that, but then the game does it before me. I can't. <laughs> Maybe the monarchy is not good for the country. Maybe we, we deserve more rights. Maybe we... <laughs> Maybe we deserve to be equal. Strange ideas like that. <laughs> oh my god. No, that's pretty funny. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Um, <laughs> if you think about it, the printing press is just proto-social media that has only brought benefit to the world, of course. Social media is good, guys. Otherwise, how would you have found me? <laughs> Your Majesty, I have received word back from the Inquisitors you sent to sent East to investigate the claims about Kant Adam and their nocturnal activities. And? We placed Kant Adam uh, in heavy iron chains and waited until nightfall. <coughs> <coughs> they transformed into a vicious monster, black fur. Claws like sights. It broke free and killed a dozen inquisitors before he subdued it. It is clear that Khan Adam was a devil worshipper cursed by the ninth god for their sins. <laughs> we request permission to burn him alive in the town square. Alright, do it. <laughs> sorry, it increases faith. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, Adam. I'm, it's, it's for the faith. It's my goal. I need to increase faith. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Nothing gets the peasants going like a good public burning. You hear reports that Count Adam transformed into a monster halfway through. Oh, nice! Extra entertainment! <laughs> the Adam Dragonflies are people! They are people! <laughs> Get burned at the stake, nerd! Whoa. Um, I wonder if they're... The, the defiant or something. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> um, <laughs> peasants believed in the believe in the ninth god has been raised to new heights by such an impressive spectacle. Look at that, guys. Look at that. <laughs> well, the counts are furious to have been humiliated so publicly. Well, oh, I'm sure it'll be fine, right? Right? Yeah. Yeah, it'll probably be fine. Anyway. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yo, so how about we... um uh, Increased ability, you know? <clears throat> <clears throat> no, don't rebel. Don't do that. No, 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 no. You don't want to rebel. Won't end well, guys. It won't end well. <laughs> oh my god. Ah. Uh. Don't do it. Chiefs could fund A, but you gave us no money. No, it's fine. Stability is good. You know, it's fine. <laughs> as long as, you know, the farming doesn't get lowered anymore, we're all good. <laughs> Drink some water. <clears throat> Delicious water, bruh. Nothing better. Ten seconds remaining. 
for you guys, it's probably like zero seconds by now, thanks to the delay. <coughs> Where is John and all his money? <laughs> John is saving and hoarding the cash. Lower stability with the prison and increase military with the fortress. You guys are trying to increase military for the for the rebel, for the rebellion. Oh, you bastards! Oh no! <laughs> On the verge of rebellion, how could this have happened? How could this have happened? How about I check my ambition first? At the start of your reign, you said you wanted to be a saint. But so far, you're, you've not convinced anyone. The kingdom's faith in the church is still distinctly underwhelming, your majesty. What? But for the counts, it's great. It's ten. What? <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> what what is she saying? My ambition my ambition isn't working. If you want to stop the nobles from overthrowing you, you need to pivot, change your image. My advice would be to infiltrate each region with loyal spies, defeat their schemes with schemes of our own, but your other advisors have other ideas. We should crush these disloyal nobles, smash their armies, and force them to submit. Common folk are a sleeping giant that even the nobles are afraid to wake. If you become beloved by the peasants, the nobles won't dare to overthrow you for fear of evolution. Here's another idea. Declare war on the Ashmedian Empire. The nobles will forget their schemes if you win. No. No, but I wanted to continue with the faith. I put so much work into it. No. No. What? No. No! Come on, it's not fair! Uh... <clears throat> Maybe I'll try, like, the Kingdom-wide spy network. I, I don't know. Maybe. Like, the trade is also pretty high. <coughs> Farming and military... No. I'll do the spy... By network will probably be fine. Look, a wise decision, Your Majesty. I'll begin recruiting spies. I'll I'll make sure the spies spread the word of the ninth god in the process. Even though it's not my main goal anymore, that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Test, test message. Point and laugh. Chat. No, guy. Okay. Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> <clears throat> I'll begin recruiting spies. We'll send them across the kingdom in the guise of traveling bards. This will require a fine touch. Your priority is to raise the kingdom's stability and overall trade as much as you can. <laughs> Where were you? Outside. <gasps> no. I mean, you're still in the game. You don't have to do the joint thing, right? Rah. Yeah, you're in the chiefs. There you are. Um, and of course, there can't be open rebellion among the nobles. Please don't rebel. Please don't start a rebellion. Please don't, guys. No, just ignore it. <laughs> and don't show me my money. You have 1500 though. Maybe it's bugged out somehow. <coughs> a nice soak. I'm gonna drink some more water. I am so handsome, God! <laughs> Mother of mountains. <coughs> oh, sorry for all the coughing, guys. What in Morgana's name is that smell? A bit of lavender oil, a little rose. Well, it's vile. Stay away from me, if you please. <laughs> well, you stink! <laughs> Hmm, won't do you much good. Everyone in the south is bathing these days. All thanks to our aqueduct's pristine waters. Why? I've been bathing nearly once a fortnight. That sounds wonderful. I want to take a bath. Did you know, guys, for Christmas, I, uh... <clears throat> I got myself, like, a bath bucket. Because, <laughs> like, we don't have a bath. We only have a shower. So for Christmas, I asked for a bath bucket, but like a really big one, right? Where you can just soak your entire body in. Like, 
No body parts will stick out like it's big, big bucket. Um, <laughs> and now I have that. And now I've been taking baths every week. <laughs> like a barrel? No, it's like, I mean, you can sit down in it like comfortably, you know? And the water can go pretty high, like, above your shoulders, you know? It's just, like, a comfy bath. It's... <laughs> so now, like... I, I can enjoy baths every day if I wanted to. It, it does take a while to fill up. It's a big bucket. It's a bucket, dear god. It's, it's called a bath bucket. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's called a bath bucket. It's <laughs> if I look a bath bucket, you get a picture of what I have. It, it, it's literally, literally that. It's it's a bath bucket. <laughs> Got a rain shower at home. I prefer it over a bath. A rain shower? You mean like one that shoots from the ceiling? Like like uh, the water gets like go, flows down from the ceiling. That's pretty cool. A barrel? No, barrels are different. Bath barrel. No, a barrel looks different. <laughs> That's like, that goes up in height. This one is like, not that high up. You know? Not a barrel. A bucket. If I had a bath barrel, I would really feel like I'm back in the Middle Ages. Just like these peasants who are bathing in whatever they're talking about. Rosemary oils or, or something. Um, like standing in the rain, but a comfortable temperature. Warm rain. That sounds pretty comfy, actually. What the hell is that? That thing looks weird as fuck. What, what do you mean? Are you insulting my bath bucket? <laughs> Are you insulting my bath bucket? What the heck? Uh, what? I bet you guys all have normal baths. I, I don't have that luxury, guys. I have to- I have to do with a bucket. <laughs> well, it's very comfortable and very nice. I've been... Uh, yeah, I've been enjoying it. I have a shower. Who needs a bath? Hey, I mean... I still shower. <laughs> the bath is more for relaxing reasons, you know? I've got my bath bombs and I throw them in the bath. Make it smell all nice and then I just sit there soaking for... 30 minutes. And then I get out again. It's like a sauna, because I I the heat in the bath, like the water, is such a high temperature, it's like boiling. Just the way I like it. But the thing is like it turns the entire bathroom like super hot. And I start sweating. So it's like it's it's like like a spa day, you know? Comfy bath and a sauna. Anyway, you guys distracted me with my bath bucket. Um, <laughs> like I didn't start the, this conversation. <laughs> ah, yes, I do enjoy scalding water in a bucket. It is very comfortable. You should try it. <laughs> Just get a second bath bucket, cover the top to make it an actual sauna. I don't think I would last even a minute. Like, I would just... <laughs> I throw it off immediately. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> it certainly is. In fact, the council should establish public bathhouses in cities all across the kingdom. You know what? That's a great idea. <laughs> of course, John is against it. Stinky. Eh. <laughs> Gods be good, really? All a warrior needs is to plunge into an ice lake once a year to prove their mettle. <laughs> Ice lakes for the wind. That sounds awful. That's not scalding hot water. Then we got to set up bathhouses. So it seem nice. And the chiefs must think so bad. Real. <laughs> At least the grandees smell nice. <laughs> Once a year sounds right for a ketchup player. Stop. <laughs> <coughs> Have the queen bath? Wait, what? In public? Why me? Warn the kingdom about the dangers of bathing or build the bath. Why do I need to show it? And why is it a gamba? Oh no. <gasps> I 
Alright, go crazy, guys. Go ahead. Go ahead. Let me bathe in public. I <laughs> What is a camera for? Am I gonna embarrass myself? <laughs> Hot up stream in the Middle Ages, yo. Hot up sounds so good right now, guys. Oh, I was so tempted to take a bath today, but I got lazy and I just showered instead, like a normal person. Ugh. Slips in the bath bucket, dies. No, that'd be very sad. That'd be so, no. <laughs> Putting us clothes. Have the queen bathe in public to show the benefits. Yay, guys! Yay! Oh, it failed! It failed! <laughs> in front of the palace, your servants scurry to set up a huge golden tub while the nobles look on. You are just about to disrobe. When a gust of wind catches your dressing gown and blows it away. <laughs> <laughs> That's so embarrassing! <laughs> As he stands before them completely nude, the nobles start whispering and giggling! We hide their hands! <laughs> <laughs> Should I just own it? Like, behold the might and beauty of my royal person! <laughs> I mean, I mean, look at me, right? She, she's hot! Like, obviously, you got- Yeah, I'm gonna own it, own it. Behold the might and beauty of my royal person. Uh, yes, very impressive, your majesty! <laughs> Do you think it would be nice to get in now? <laughs> as you- As you get in, you stumble and splash everyone around you. Laughter turns into cold grumbles <laughs> in the end. The whole thing is a more of an opportunity for ridicule than anything else. How did it come to this? <laughs> <laughs> the new baiting trend quickly uh, quietly fades away. How did this happen? How did this? How could that? No, how could that have? An old depth, anyway. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it's John again. How do you expect me to take this seriously, you crack brained simpleton? <gasps> Shut your daft mouth and give me what I am owed, you honorless dog! Deh. <laughs> Calm down, both of you. This pimple-headed lackwith <laughs> expects me to pay him a huge quantity of gold just because his great-great-grandfather beat my great-great-grandfather in a foot race. Adept is adept owed is adept owed, is it not? Your Majesty, I only recently discovered this debt while combing through my ancestor's journal. Honor dictates that Chief John is liable for his ancestor's death. <laughs> By Morgana's cauldron, this is ludicrous. I demand we put this to a vote. Right, what should we do? Should Chief John Smith pay back their ancestor's death to Grandy Dust? Uh, yes, no, or yes, plus two centuries of interest. That would be pretty funny. <laughs> That would be pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Hi. <laughs> well, right. go ahead. <laughs> Poor John. <laughs> John about to pay to death with two centuries of interest, actually losing all the money. <laughs> Oh no, it's actually kind of equal right now. How is this possible? I'm sorry, John. The council has decided you must pay it back with two centuries of interest. Surely it's not that much, right? Surely it's not that much. <laughs> oh no. Gods be good. Two centuries of interest, but I'll go bankrupt. Your great-great-grandfather should have thought of that before he decided to run so slowly. Tell you what, I'll give you a few weeks to sell off this family silver before I expect full payment. My god, your John's gone broke. <laughs> Nothing. This is an outrage. Dust, you little snake. I'll get you back for this. My god. <laughs> it's so jolly. 
No money. No bitches. <laughs> Wait, I'm not allowed to tax them. What the heck? All right. <clears throat> mm. Gotta bribe the chiefs. And all cruel texting grandies. You guys have too much money. Look, chiefs, I'll give you a little bit of money because I feel bad for you. Look how nice I am. Look how nice I am. <laughs> Uh oh. Why are you rebelling, Counts of the East? What's wrong? Is it something I did? Oh my god. Rebellion! Oh lord. <laughs> oh no. At long last, the Counts have reached their boiling point. You are confronted in your throne room by Count who took maze, their smile as sharp as a scalpel. It's you! Oh my god, sorry, I felt light- I, I feel lightheaded for a second. <clears throat> I'm gonna drink some more water. What? Ah, oh, it's just a rebellion, it's got me nervous. <laughs> <coughs> the Counts of the East will bring you down, pretender to the throne. We will rise up and fight for Louisa- Louisa, the true queen. This is a formal declaration of war. The next time we see each other, we'll be on the battlefield. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I don't really want to lower stability. One day, I will see your head on a spike. Maze. There will be many heads on spikes before this, is, this war is over. Mine will not be among them. <gasps> Count May strides from your throne room without looking back. I I didn't expect them to move so boldly, your majesty. How did things get this bad? <laughs> the leader of the rebellion is Khan Adam. As reason for the uprising, they're citing your past transgressions, mainly chopping down the ancient eastern grove. What that? That was ages ago. <laughs> it is now's the time for swords, not words. What are our chances? Take it for the sippy. The counts are formidable, but not undefeatable. I hope they don't persuade any other regions to join their rebellion. That would be disastrous. So this is it? Civil war? Civil war. Yay! I can't wait. I'll go take out the trebuchets. Yay! Yippee! Yippee! Ready for a fight. Dun -da -da -dun -da -da -dun. <laughs> Oh, it's been a long time coming. Over 300 years ago, the East was conquered. But before that, we were our own rulers. With a lineage of monarchs stretching back a thousand years. The glory days. Indeed, and that's why we must rise up. By placing Louisa on the throne, we will reclaim what we have lost. But first, we must decide on tactics. My fellow counts, I ask you, how shall we strike first? We can launch a preemptive strike against the grandees to cripple their military capabilities. If we suspect the chiefs may join our cause, we can call them to war. They'll be more likely to join us if the queen's authority is low. Um, <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> we could also call upon the church to condemn the queen. Or finally, you could send off an assassin to nip this in the bud. Ooh, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, guys? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh my god, why is that 100%? Oh my god. Ah! Why not just an assassin, guys? You just lose a bit of money. It's uh, easy. <laughs> Move your head. No, I don't want to. <laughs> okay, fine. Here, look at it. Oh, oh, wow, it's too late. Okay, no, fine. I'll give you a bit longer. All right. <laughs> No. Staring at your chat, staring right at you. Go ahead, do your silly votes, do your silly votes. I know, like, two of them are 100%. I know, I know. It's, it's unfortunate. <laughs> ah. 
launch a preemptive strike on the Grandees. Oh boy. The Counts launch a suppressed attack on the south, slashing and burning their way across fields and farmlands. Oh my god. They catch a regiment, regiment of the southern army unaware, unaware and spring an ambush, slaughtering them to a man. Common folk whisper that the battleground will be stained red for a generation. They get a, they get a point. How delightful! Down with the queen! Eastern soldiers return home in triumph, leaving the south devastated in their wake. Man, Grandis, you're just gonna take that! Grandis, you're just gonna take that! The Counts just attacked you! You lowered your military all the way to one! Technically, little number one! <laughs> you just taxed us. I mean, true, but... Wouldn't have changed the outcome if I didn't. <laughs> Good news, Amber. <clears throat> In my latest sortie, I captured a key leader of the Loyalist forces. <gasps> it's crowned! A scourge on you, Maze, you poxy, snolly guster! Release me at once. Someone gag our guest. I'm tired of listening to their withering. That's better. Now we can hear ourselves think. So, Amber, what shall we do with our prize? Whoa, 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 what are they gonna do with Crown? Executor? <gasps> oh, Crown! Oh, you're fucked! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> yeah, all showing. There you go. The last one doesn't do anything. I mean, I guess you'll get, like, money for it. Wah, wah, wah. Freedom as a show of mercy. Extract key information from them by any means necessary. Oh wait, that just had an extra vote right at the end? Yo! <laughs> oh my god. Uh-oh. Nay, nay, where's your honor, your dogs? I'm a prisoner and a noble. When the crown is dragged away and handed over to an expert interrogator who asks very pointed questions. Before Grandy Crown expires, they give up some most useful information about sudden troop movements. Crown is dead. Bro, you died! <laughs> and Crown the second joined the cup. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that they're actually being good at the rebellion, guys. This is not good for us. Information which the Counts put to good use. Ambushing a column of soldiers and slaughtering to them to a man. Oh lord. Word of Cr Grandy Crown's poor treatment soon spreads back to the south. This only serves to draw the Grandees closer to the Queen. Yes. Get on my side. The Counts suck. Look what they did to you. First they get rid of your military, and then they kill Crown. Oh, you know, on top of it. You're, are you just gonna take that? <clears throat> Grandies, if you get on my side, I promise I won't text you anymore, okay? I'll be like, all for you. All for your support, for real, for real. <laughs> um, mm, how about the Royal Gamble? Royal Gamble. Hmm... Yeah, sure. Uh oh. oh. It's not really looking good for me. This... <laughs> the factors. Your Majesty, my agents are everywhere. Busy times right now. I've heard some particularly interesting. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Of course, there are dissenters among the Eastern troops who want this conflict as little as we do. Ooh! My agents could use them to sow opposition among their ranks. It would be dangerous, but could significantly damage enemy morale. Or we could lure them to join the Northern troops. Some of the chiefs might resent hosting turncoats, but we must be practical. Oh! <laughs> oh my god! Should the spy master make use of the dissenters in the rebel army? <clears throat> I 
I'm taking the tax relief at your word. I promise, Grandies. If you help me, I won't tax you anymore. I'll even bribe you. I'll give you money. Gamba on seat? Why would I do that? <laughs> why? Why would I do that? I'm not... I'm gonna veto C, bro. I'm, gonna <laughs> I'm vetoing C. I don't trust that shit. <laughs> which one do I vote, Queen? Oh, I actually don't know which one's better. I guess uh, B would be good, right? <laughs> I think B would be fine. Just give him some money. Give him a little bit of money. Brandies, if you help me, I am forever in your debt. No more tax for you. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll help you. I'll help you. If I had the law to give you guys money for vote for this thing, I would. But the one I have now will give me money instead, so I'm not using it. Let's fucking go! <laughs> we against these counts. I forget that the counts are not able to vote now. Because they're in rebellion. It's pretty funny. <laughs> Let's go! We loaded the centers to the loyalist side with a cash incentive. There we go. <coughs> the spy master goes away to organize her agents. <coughs> ah. Water. Wah. Soon, troops of nervous eastern soldiers arrive in the north to join the ranks. Some of the chiefs aren't happy and see it as a sign of weakness, but when the troops help conquer strategically important territory, territory, even they appreciate the extra bodies. Okay, well, they, they're kind of okay with it. <laughs> if we help you, lower stability to four. Deal? I'll try, but you have to make sure that... Like, the counts don't win. <laughs> A great battle. Vast armies darken the landscape like the shadows of clouds. Flags are flying, drums are pounding in rhythm with the marching of boots. The kingdom is gripped with civil war. At least that's what you imagine. I'm just in the safety of my palace. Your Majesty, the army of the East is advancing on the capital. I've received word from the commander. If they march now, they'll intercept the council in a matter of days. Or they could join forces with the army of the north. It's risky, but it has a higher chance of succeeding. What are your orders? Um... The grandees and the chiefs should join forces or tell the grandees to fight the eastern army head-on. <laughs> With what army, bro? <laughs> they have an army of zero! <laughs> Can you guys join forces, please? We, I don't think any of us want the counts to win. <laughs> this, <laughs> what army? They have nothing. The counts fucking took it all. <laughs> We have our orders, but should we follow them? Round the second. If you want to take revenge for your uncle, you will join up with the chiefs. Take revenge on the counts. <laughs> if you try to fight them on your own, you're gonna lose. <laughs> you have no army to beat them with. Unfortunately. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have been like, yeah, go ahead. Go fight him on your own, but you, yeah. It's gonna be difficult. <laughs> Let's fucking go! Link up with the chiefs! Yay! Big army. <laughs> the whole city holds its breath. You stew in your palace, waiting for your marshal's return. Finally, she arrives at your throne room, looking perfectly composed. Your Majesty, as you ordered, the grandees have turned the army around to link up with the chiefs. And only hope this was the right decision. Have some confidence, Your Majesty. Too late for doubts now. It'll all come down to the next battle, Your Majesty. The faith of the kingdom hangs in the balance. We will prevail. That's the spirit. Now I really must be going. I have a lot to take care of. Oh boy. 
In the next few weeks, it becomes clear that the Southern Army's retreat has given the Counts free reign to pillage and plunder the South. Uh oh. <coughs> well, that's fine. Oh shit, that's good for the chiefs. Oh no. <laughs> <coughs> anyway, the rampaging Eastern troops descend on farms like locusts, taking everything to feed thousands of hungry soldiers. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Um, um. <clears throat> <clears throat> Meanwhile, shops, churches, and manors are plundered and the stolen loot shipped back to the east. But while the south suffers, the southern forces successfully link up with the chiefs. Now the joint army of the Grandees and the chiefs rush to meet the counts in open warfare. The winner will either end your reign or preserve it. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. <clears throat> <clears throat> no, chiefs, you should definitely rebel. It'll be funny. The marshal strides in, her face streaked with mud and sweat. Had some trouble in the last skirmish, your majesty. Our oh, ninth god, what happened? When our cavalry charged, those rebel bastards lined up their spikes and just waited. It wasn't pretty. Some of our soldiers got away. Most of the horses didn't. This is a problem. I've been exchanging diplomatic messages with the Ashmedian Empire. They're willing to donate war to rough breads to the cause. It's in their interest to keep the kingdom's leadership consistent, your majesty. Don't trust them. They want us in their depth. I suggest we send scouts into eastern territory and steal horses from their foremost equestrian, Countess Sof Sophia. <laughs> that would be dangerous, Marshal. Perhaps we could purchase the Grandee's horses. Grandee Powerstein has some decent herds. Ooh, where are we getting horses from? All you want is handshakes and greasy palms. This is war, not a county fair. <laughs> not the <a> gamble again. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <clears throat> Haven't seen this event before. Yeah, me neither. Actually, a new one. Let's fucking go. Um. I wonder if it doesn't even do anything. Well, if you guys are gonna vote for this one, I might as well get a bit of treasury back, you know? So, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. If you vote for B, it'll be good. Ready, powers and get some money. You know, you, you like money? Don't get that money. Go crazy. Which region is Palestine from? I don't remember. I don't. I don't. I don't remember. Where are you, bro? Oh, there you are. You're part of the Grandees. Yo, let's go. <laughs> hey, Grandee. Oh, of course, it says Grandee right there. I'm dumb. <laughs> Grandee Power's time for his horses. <laughs> Grandee Power's time is all too eager to provide his horses for the war effort. The cash doesn't hurt either. Soon after the horses are brought to the capital, the marshal takes them out for their first skirmish. I wasn't sure if these sudden horses would be right for our situation, but they're really decent. We surprised the enemy and they scattered like the cowards they are. <gasps> Counts, you hearing that? Coward, huh? She bangs a fist on the table for emphasis. Servants scurry to pick up the scattered papers. Whoa, she's so cool. I miss my wife. <laughs> Why? I, I want to remember my wife again. Rebellion report. Uh-oh. Okay, it's equal now. That's good. Hey, Chiefs, you could rebel, but I mean, you're pretty close to your own little plot, so, you know, <clears throat> it's gonna be up to you. I mean, before I click this, you know, I'm gonna give you the chance to rebel, you know, you wanna be, you wanna rebel? You wanna <laughs> I think you lost, I think I did. <laughs> you sure you don't want to rebel, guys? Come on, isn't it tempting? It's just, yeah, you know, just a little bit of rebellion. You just need three of them. Just, just three. <laughs> ah! 
<laughs> you, you really don't... Oh! Uh... Come on, guys. Just two... <laughs> no. <laughs> Do not... Come on, guys. Just two more. Two more. Uh, it'd be funny, guys. It'd be funny. It'd... <laughs> Are you sure? Are you... <laughs> Do it! Wait, wait. Oh, oh, come on, come on. We're just... Okay. <laughs> Click the event ship. I don't want to. <laughs> Fine. Fine. <laughs> oh, no. Your Majesty, I bring a peculiar summons. Yo, thanks for the stretches, team. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> And the sippy, thank you. <laughs> oh, Perry, you're just in time to see me lose. You're, you're actually in time to see me lose the game. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> the cheese have um, <clears throat> invited the rebels to a so called peace summit. They've brokered an armistice and request you travel to the border of the Crown Lands and the North. But I have a war to win. <laughs> yes, but the rebels are meeting with them as well. It's sensible to be to at least see what the chiefs have in mind. Perhaps it's a solution to the chaos. What if it's some kind of weapon? We can't let them sell it to the counts now, can we? Well, that's, that's true. Agreed. Hi, right, I'll be doing reconnaissance. In that case, I will make preparations for the journey. I'm gonna lose. Uh. <laughs> a few days later, you set out for the mysterious meeting with your entourage in Tao. Odwin assures you she has no idea what the chiefs have planned. Oh, true. Odwin is my wife. Surely they wouldn't, you know, kill me. I, my my wife is a chief. Like they they wouldn't, right? Oh my God. You what I miss. <laughs> My reign. My, you missed my entire reign. You're surprised to find the chief standing in a field. In the field of all places. Not far away, you notice Mount Ulf, a snow-capped peak, marking the edge of the north. Ah, oh, your greatness. So glad you could make it. It's John. I'm interested to see what you have to show me. All in good time, your majesty. All in good time. Chiefs have you waiting for a few hours as the other nobles arrive. A few hours. Eventually, Otto steps forth. Strapped to their waist is an ornate black and gold horn. Oh, I almost double clicked. <laughs> Behold, the horn of Adheld. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Otto grins, then puts the horn to their lips and blows. There's a deep rumbling far beneath the soil as the whole of Salas ass is shivering. <gasps> Yo, Nendra. <laughs> Blood and stars. A crack forms in the earth. Nobles jump hurriedly to one side or the other as the rift grows larger, forming a deep crevice which extends north, roaring through the foothills until it reaches Mount Ulf. <laughs> There's a short silence. And then the mountain, mountain is sundered entirely. A caval cavalcade of rocks and boulders are catapulted in all, in all directions. Oh my god. And the entire mountain starts to collapse. Arm. <clears throat> Was that supposed to impress me? This is just a demonstration of the horn's power. I'm here to relieve you of your position, your highness. Should you refuse, this will be the fate of every farm and village from here to Ashmead. <laughs> Is for me? No! <laughs> Unfortunately not. <clears throat> well, as long as I get to live... Oh, we'll take good care of you, not to worry. The rebels have already laid down their arms and they're swearing fealty to their new monarch clearly afraid of the horn's terrible power but a few loyal no nobles remain are soon following suit as the sun sets on your reign you can only hope the chiefs have as much trouble ruling it as you did <laughs> i'm like fuck you guys i hope you struggle as much as i do <laughs> no oh no what <laughs> 
Several years later, Queen Shiver's skeleton was recovered from the palace's deepest cell, and a guard was rec reprimanded for failing to feed the prisoner. You let me starve? What the heck? The counts, led by Adam Dragonfly II, launched a rebellion that accomplished nothing besides distracting the queen while cunning schemers took the throne. <sighs> it's shiver over. Shift Needland. No. <laughs> In a sun dappled vineyard, a vineyard, Ceremia and Grandy play like piggy opened a bottle of their finest vintage. Their schemes had amounted to nothing, but there's always next time. After Otto was crowned, the nobles trembled before a monarch with the power to collapse mountains. But gods are not to be trusted. Adel's horn vanished from Otto's possession. And the nobles were soon scheming once more. So you just lost a tr you just lost a horn and what what the heck? You, you, you didn't even feed me in prison. Is that so mean? Queen Shiver the healer. I didn't really heal. Oh wait, I did. <laughs> the pox thing. Oh my god, I forgot about that. I, I healed the people with the, the the pox. Oh, the, the crystal pox. That thing, it didn't even heal them. But I left a legacy behind, you know? That's the most important part. I left a legacy. <laughs> I lasted three... No, uh, three years and three months, all right? Three years and three months. That's quite a bit. Three months would have been kind of sad. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Wealthiest noble, night soul, and the poorest noble, cosmic kid. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Kingdom! Is that the next one? Okay, I mean, I'll be honest, he looks pretty cool. Uh, he looks pretty sick, alright. You know, I'll accept it. I'll accept it, because my wife was also a chief. So, I'm fine with the chiefs continuing. My child would have been uh, half chief anyway. So, he is handsome, right? That outfit? It's good shit, it's good shit, man. What the heck? <laughs> anyway, that went as well, about as well as you'd expect, guys. Um, <clears throat> unfortunately, it's too late for me to start another game. Um, so yeah. <laughs> <coughs> um, let me just uh. Wah. Anyway, guys. <laughs> oh wait, I gotta. There you go. Look the other way. <laughs> Stop with the. Oh my god, every time. Uh, why am I even surprised anymore? Why am I even surprised? <laughs> the wombo combo, not the wombo combo. Oh my god. <laughs> it keeps flashbanging us every time. Totally worth it. It's pretty funny. <laughs> Alright. I already know who I want to read. So. Um. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Like, there's some fun stuff I want to share with you guys before I send you on the raid, though. <laughs> who is it? I want to raid CL. I want to raid CL. Who's playing uh, Final Fantasy. Although, I think he's at the end of the game, so... I'm not sure if he's gonna end or not right now. <clears throat> if we're quick, we can raid him. Let's see. Bro has been streaming for like nearly seven hours. I can't. I... <laughs> anyway, the fun stuff I wanted to share. Oh, I'll share that another time. I'll share it on Friday. I'll just have to join my stream then. <laughs> for now, I want to hurry up with the raid so, um, you know, I don't raid him when he's like about to end stream. Um, but, but again, I hope you guys enjoyed. Today's stream, even though it was a bit shorter than usual. Suspense for Friday. It's like... I received a ton of stuff today. Like, for the new VTuber model. Um, and it's all really cool, so... <laughs> I wanted to talk about that. But I'll talk about it on Friday. I'll have more time then. Surely. I mean, I have time now. But I'll do it on Friday instead, because I like to keep y'all in suspense. I'm sorry. I mean, I mean... <laughs> 
anyway, <clears throat> we're gonna read CL. Um, no, those are not the messages, Sai. That is wrong. Oh, how could you? <laughs> anyway, be sure to copy the raid messages if you're not subscribed. Be sure to copy the one with the hearts. Send over the love. Um, and, um, 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 I have no idea what I'm going to stream on Friday. I have nothing planned. Um, <laughs> which is kind of bad. Um, I'm gonna have to figure something out. <laughs> If y'all have any game recommendations, feel free to drop them in the Discord. Um, <clears throat> like drop them in gaming or in the cat lounge, you know? Um, um, cook room? No, I don't know. We're already playing it like a Twitch chat game. Like we played that today. We play another one on Friday? That's too much. That's too much. We'll figure something out, guys. We'll figure something out. Mm mm. I feel like I've been begging for Somerville for years. <laughs> Recommend it again. I'll, 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 I'll think about it. <laughs> but I'll see you guys on Friday. I hope you all have a, a good night, a good day, a good whatever. Uh, I see you Friday. And uh, and uh, uh, uh yeah, yeah. I, I, uh, bye, bye, guys. <laughs> bye, next time. I'm <laughs> Bye.